Haters. Be a very long game. <laughs> it's the man who posted men Sailor Pippin's chest. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. What do we do with a drunken sailor? Oh, Put him out the back, Would and you... then we mailer. <laughs> That's Captain Pippin, Dave. <laughs> Uh, Is somebody disapproving in the background of the singing? <laughs> Arr, that's the chap thar. He got the chap in the in the Discord server. Where do we go? I believe we have an accord. Go ahead, <laughs> ladies. Right, everybody, everybody oh, on? we're not ready. Not yet. Oh, okay. Yar! We are, we are. Yar! Just, we are. Yar! Yar! <laughs> Yar! Hey, wait, wait. Did read the Dark Tower series from... Uh... Was how they said yes. One tower series. I, I have one thing to do. Everyone, you ready? Did you hear that? Yes. Yes. That was me setting the swag down right next to my mic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boom! <laughs> nice. Oh. That's a taunting five-yard penalty. Don't do that. We can still adjust the encounter deck, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just let me know. Is the is the swag what you've been using instead of your weight to get swole recently? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? It sounded heavy. I may have put some extra oomph when I send it down. Just yeah, just to make sure, just to make sure it made a noise, because <laughs> it would have been really <laughs> anticlimactic if it was just you know, a, you know, a piece of cotton touching a. A mouse pad. It's like, it's and then, did you hear that? No, uh -uh. no, dog. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. What'd you do for Klondike Bar? Bird of the Ring swag. Oh. All right, I joined the game here. <laughs> okay, join the game. Uh, do we have everybody uh, starting at the stream already, or are we waiting for the game to start? That my, uh, our my stream, stream is, is our stream is ready to go. My stream should be okay live. Yeah. It's live. Uh, Okay, so we're right. Okay, then let's do the introduction. And before we can get the game going after that, but um, <clears throat> hello, everybody. Hey, hello. hey, hey. <laughs> we have been working Bye. on this for what three months now? Two months? I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, and so, we being myself, salted pork, and Triton Wreck, and are really excited to share this with you guys. Uh, excited to play it. Gonna, Thank you very much. Yeah, this is going to be super exciting to play. <laughs> I know. I, I can't wait for you guys to finish so I can play it with you, whoever wants to play again afterwards. Yeah, man, totally. <laughs> Maybe not tonight, but like tomorrow. Because I don't hold your breath. That'll be like four in the morning. <laughs> well, we'll does see this, how well it goes. Whoever wants this, to play again. <laughs> yeah. Does this count as a win for this particular quest for the massive? Um, oh, I think, the, yes. I think we should yes, definitely count that. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> Uh, this should be. I did uh, that. We do win. I don't. I don't want to like. Right, yeah. carp, I don't want to put the boot before the horse here, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, this yeah, should be we'll, a step yeah. up in difficulty from the regular one, but you are playing with four players, which is usually the easiest way to play the other one. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, no pressure, but we beat this two-handing it. Each of us. We did, and it was hard. <laughs> it was really hard. <laughs> I was sweating. <laughs> Just laying down a challenge there so we look extra bad when we fail. Is that how this is? None of you guys took it. I was saying, does somebody want to take this up in, in nightmare mode? And none of you guys have accepted. So, Yeah, because we're not mad. Have you like, we're we're going to fail. Weapons, we don't want to fail like badly. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so the first step we've got to do is you guys need to pick a quest stage. There are three of them. Seven. Oh. We have... Uh, <laughs> we spoiled the flavor text for that this week. You can see it in the announcements channel. Uh, but for everybody watching who can't see the announcements, let's let's go ahead and read. Um, I'll read the first one. Bob, you want to take the second one? Eric, take the third one? Yes. All right. First one. Corsairs are attacking the fortified city of Dal Amroth to cover Sahir's escape to Umbar. The Corsairs must be bold to attack such a stronghold, but they have caught you by surprise. The call to arms has rung out through the gulf and down the coast. You must hold the bay while the rest of the fleet rallies to join the fight. Holding the bay. Okay. 1C says the distant sounds of warning bells are quickly followed by beacons being lit. Dal Amroth is under attack. You must light your beacon to rally your fleet and sail up the coast to their aid before they are overwhelmed. 
Gondor calls for aid. Is this really what's going on? <laughs> sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the cards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I'm doing one E. Uh, yep. Okay. Your watchmen spot the merchant ship Erlen fleeing towards your island depot, closely pursued by Corsair ships. While rushing to assist, you notice smoke billowing in the direction of the city Cobus Haven must be under attack. Ready your fleet, rescue the airling, and sprint to the bay. Dull Amroth must be saved. Are the only one who got super hyped as it was like day after day? It was just like building and building and building. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is hype. I loved it. <laughs> that was our goal. We were hoping that would be the case. All right, so this part you guys need to decide which one you want to do. Just based on, on flavor. Going in blind, going on text. Yeah. Um, I thought we were going to get the cards in this channel. Oh, no, <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Heck no. no we there's no time. Flavor text. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, we're going okay. Blind, blind, blind. Let's, okay, let's uh, the touch stream. Boys. Do any of you mind going to the warning bells? The middle one. Light the beacon. So there's, there's the... There's the we're already in the war in the first one, and then the light the beacon is the second one, and the third one is race. So two racing and one you have to... Is there any particular group that is really up for just putting off ships? All right, Quasi, I didn't mean to pull your thunder there, I guess, right? That's all good, man. I was just thinking, like, that, that middle one sounds the easiest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. sweet, sweet, yeah. If you have Pippin, you just auto succeed. You just exhaust Pippin, and you auto succeed. Go on. <laughs> on right. What if Pippin is wearing a, a pirate hat? Uh, yeah, I, I don't. Is what do you think our decks are particularly good at? We were able to really stuff pretty. I would suggest. I don't know. I don't know anything about the other guys' decks, but our deck was throwing stuff into the victory display pretty well so if we can get stuff in the victory display at the beginning it's going to help us out the rest of the game right yeah that's how the deck works <laughs> thanks shane but i mean like so if we're attacking okay, i don't know i don't know that's you know so if we if we take the first one it may not be horrible right sure i mean yeah we're just going by by flavor text here which is great no I guess. <laughs> Love, yeah, the flavor text is amazing. Puts you right into the thing. So they're timing hey. us. You know, the, sure. the longer we take, the more damage is going to be on Kovac. I know, right? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, we can, we can do the first one. I'm cool with that. Let's, is everybody else? Okay, which team is that? Yes, we're I'm the okay card talk that. card talk stream. Maybe we should all is... inter we should introduce our teams and who's on them while we're all here together. Sounds perfect. Card talk. Who's on, well, your, who's on your stream? Oh, um, card talk. Uh, we have card talk, Dave. That's me. And then we have a DTP Anzu. That's Grant, um, who is a co-host for my uh, for the podcast. And we also have uh, Salted Pork, who is running the encounter deck. And can I find Anandsen? Anandsen uh, is there, and Adder Cop is also. Our stream, Shane, Addercop, and Anadsen is Samuel. It's our four. All right, so you guys have selected one. We'll finish the introduction in a second. Um, but once everybody has selected one, I'm going to send you guys, each team, to go do the setup. And then once setup is done, then we'll come back and reveal the uh, second side of each card. <laughs> Okie doke. So it actually matters. Just we can share our pain together. Consequences. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> I actually, I've never been this excited to play a game of, of, uh, of Lord of the Rings ever. <laughs> okay, okay uh, next team. Which one's the next team? Whoever said it speaks up first. Uh, we'll do ours. So I'm Chad, and with me, why don't you guys just introduce yourselves so I don't accidentally mispronounce any real names or fake names. So, so. I'm Joseph, and I'm still deciding what deck to play. Cool. <laughs> uh, Mr. Thomas, also known as Thomas, and hopefully AMR can just murder things before they get to us. At least that's the goal. Yeah, this is David, or the Prancing Pony, uh, rocking a classic Nold War deck today. And I'm Joe, a purple wizard. I'll be running the encounter deck for them. 
right? So what's your quest stage? Yeah. Uh, oh, we could do the merchant ship, maybe. Sure. That works. Okay. As long as Aramur gets to kill boats, I don't <laughs> Yeah, that won't be a problem in this quest. What that's, I how Grant, that's how Grant feels. He just wants to kill things. <laughs> yeah. All right, 13. Uh, hi, I'm Michael, Wandering Tuke, and I am not playing. I'm just streaming for everyone. Uh, this is going to be Triton Rex Group. <laughs> I Triton Rex on mute, uh, so he's not going to be talking much, but <laughs> I'm... Uh... I, I'm Quaz, uh, and I'm UK-based, so if I fall asleep halfway through, I do apologize. Just shout really loudly in my ear. <laughs> I'm Pocket Wraith, also known as the Warden Warnor. Also UK-based, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to fall asleep. <laughs> Shots fired, I guess. That's okay. alright, you, you can be in charge of waking me up then. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm Hippo Boy, I'm Ted, and uh, I've... <laughs> I've I've betrayed. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, David, but I, but I've betrayed you. And I'm not playing on your team. Oh, we we that's how we organized it. <laughs> Didn't want. We to. stole the hippo. We heard that hippos sail really well. Yeah, it is the best deck builder that I've ever seen. About. No, David, you're the best deck builder I've ever seen. <laughs> Quite literally. Oh, stop it, you two. Quite literally. <laughs> Get a room. <laughs> now All right. I see what I have to put up with. Yeah, I have nothing placed these nothing but love on our show. Forgot Ben. Dog 3 is out there. He's also party. Oh, no. yes. I'm McDog 3, also known as Ben. And that's everybody. Okay. Everybody? All right. I have placed the three setup cards in the Cobus Haven cards folder up there. So if you're watching the stream, you can maybe head over there. Uh, the people running the stream can look at that and see what we've done. And then for each team, go to your voice channels. And then finish setup. Once you finish setup, we'll all come back here together. So come back to the command post when you finish setup, and we will reveal the rest of it after that. Cool, cool. Catch right. you in a bit, guys. The card cool. hooks. Hi. Hello. Okay. Hi. I'm waiting for Aaron to see how the volume was because the volumes are all over the place. So he was trying to tell me <laughs> if we all sounded good or not. Which one are we? A, C, or E? Smoke uh, on the horizon. Uh, one E. All right, here it is. I got it up. Yep. All right, time to load your decks. Oh, yeah. Um, you decided, Joe. I'm playing Dale. <clears throat> Should yeah, I, am I picking the Dream Chaser, or am I taking... Yeah, I think I am, right? So I should be first player there. Yes. Yeah, I think you were taking Dream Chaser. Yeah. Deck is coming. Okay. Aaron says we sound good. I can go second. Or third or fourth. Doesn't matter, I guess. Just waiting for Joe's deck. I am having oh, okay. some there it technical is. difficulties. I think I'm accidentally joining as a spectator, so let me quit the game and try and rejoin. Uh oh. No, that won't work. That won't work. No. <laughs> yeah. We gotta more than... exit and reset. Um this card is blank for some reason. Me too. Oh, is this new? This R Lang? Air Lang, yeah. It's from the Nightmare Pack, so if you don't have the Nightmare uh, art then you probably aren't seeing it right nope definitely so, not i did tell people in the setup to download the nightmare pack but, but oh well are uh, we are so we resetting i think we need to exit out and do it again okay that works out well yeah go download the nightmare image pack if you want to see that Okay, I've rebooted Octagon. Okay. Do you have a new game up, Joe? I do. Yep. All right. Cookies authorization. Yep. Where did that come from? I just recycle until it gives me a name that I find intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> that one that felt about right. That's that's fair. That is the best way to do that. Yeah. 
I, I was also kind of wondering how you came up with that name, but then, yeah, that is the best, mm -hmm. best thing I am still trying to load in, but... Why did you not work? Let's try that again. There we go. I would prefer not to go first. If we can help it. Yeah, let me load my deck first, and I'll take that first slot. Yeah, just because I want to get AMR set up, and then I can actually get... Then I can actually focus on getting... Okay, that device. looks much better. Oh. There we go. my deck. Man, we played Chris's custom quest that... Uh, Siege of Erebor. That was a fun quest. He did a real good job designing that sucker. But it's one of those quests you need somebody who's played it before. Because it's, it's a little... Chris made something complicated? Ha! Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, do you want to be third or fourth of you here? I just loaded my deck, so wherever it pops up, <laughs> I'm playing catch up. Eagles of the North. I summoned an Eagles of the North. Yeah, I think we were supposed to start the game by shuffling all three copies of that in, correct? Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It is good. Our heroes are a mess. Yeah, I'll, I'll go way over here. Radagast is a, way he's way a lo way. Radagast is a loner. He likes he's to. A loner. Doesn't like people. Two copies of Radagast staff. Yes, please. I will keep. Did somebody load before me again? <laughs> All right. So just make sure everybody has their hands visible, please. Joe, I can't see your hand, Purple Wizard. Oh no! What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Whine and complain like a little. Oh. Do I need to load a deck for you guys? I think way? you should have a hero. Okay. So just do control A, Haldir. Valen. Haldir. Pippin. Bayor. <laughs> I think the game doesn't like it if you don't have a hero. Can you come out? I think it actually works now. But... Spirit Pippin! Oh, yeah? Ah. Oh, the anti Haldir. This is his moment. <laughs> This is moment. Mind if I take the first player spot here if I'm going to play the Dream Chaser? Oh, yeah. So I'm the one that gives me plus three threat. Yeah, so uh, you have Dawn Star. Draw an additional card. Sweet. Okay. I didn't even know what the effect was. I was just like, yeah, whatever. Yep. All right. Yep. David, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. I was not entirely sure. Because uh, then you have Narlenya, and then I have the Silver Wing, which we're renaming. Yeah, what were the other two two names for the ships that we're going with? I don't think we discussed them. We have two of the ships named, mm -hmm. renamed anyway. We have the the Solar Scimitar and the Lunar Lemboss. Hmm. I like the Barrel Chaser. I don't know if I can actually mulligan my turn yet, or my opening hand yet. So. I well, actually already... For setup, so yes, you would. I, I mulligan. Oh, okay, cool. If we're playing Noldor, would you mind moving to the right so I could take the first player spot? Noldor, here? move for no one! <laughs> <laughs> when someone asks you to move, you say, no, you move. And then you give them lemons. Or lembas. <laughs> That's the more Noldor way of doing it. Uh, <clears throat> okay. You guys all picked your boats. I mean, as long as we didn't pick our nose. A slightly different spot. But huh. At least give me control of it. Have you all named your boats? Mm-hmm. Give me my boat. 
Yeah, because we have uh, we're playing with the same sets of boats. We didn't want to have the same unique names for everybody, so we said, "Name your own boats. Give them a new name." Uh, okay, mine will be the Bald Eagle. <laughs> okay. Okay, that works. Yeah. <laughs> There's many layers of joke in that name. <laughs> True. Other names? Silver, the Solar Scimitar. Not Silver Scimitar. Okay. Can you give me control of it? Just right click, take control. Right click, take control. Yep. Oh, got it. That is why it's oh. not working. Okay. I, I want to give like four or five of this. So. <laughs> All right, let me tell you guys what I've done for setup. Great. So, prepare the Corsair deck. Uh, that's a separate set of deck that's part of this quest. Um, yep. That's hiding somewhere on the side here, but that's it's done. Uh, players prepare their fleet. You each get a boat to start off with. Uh, set the beacon, docks of Dal Amroth, and Raider flagship aside out of play. Uh, and it says, give both Dal Amroth warships to the team at 1C. So I'm just setting them aside because we we're not having access to them, but uh, they're not in your set-aside area. <clears throat> Search the encounter deck for Aerlang, which is a guarded objective. It's right here. Uh, it says, if Aerlang is free of encounters, add it to the staging area controlled by the players. Action, exhaust Aerlang to ready a hero. Any player may trigger this action. Uh, <clears throat> and search the encounter deck for one copy of Belfales Islet and two copies of Scouting Ship and add them to the staging area. Attach Aerlang to a copy of Scouting Ship as a guarded objective and shuffle the encounter deck. That is set up. If you guys are all uh, mulliganed and ready to go, then we will head back to the group chat and we'll reveal the rest of the cards. Okay. Sound good? Uh, yeah, I think we're ready. Right. Sure. And everybody swarms. <laughs> trying to come in, and then it's moving the command away from me. No. Like, I don't want to tap on Anzu. <laughs> leaving. Uh, I, I was worried I was going to accidentally join the wrong chat. <laughs> All right, guys. Rules. Special rules. <coughs> oh, special rules. Yeah. Well, now, we did share this uh, last night. So you can see the picture in the... Cobus Haven cards. Go there. Uh, Seaward Tower, Tower of the Gull, and Tower of the Heron all gain the Tower trait and are considered to be Tower Objectives. So, okay. if something refers to Tower Objectives, it's referring to them. Sure. Uh, each one of you guys will have started off with a different objective as your fourth objective. And uh, they all do different things, and they're all starting to play in different ways, but they will be yours for the rest of the game, most likely. We'll see what happens. Um, Another thing is, when the team reaches the end of the round, they pause there until all teams have reached the end of the round. All end of round effects are resolved together. Each team may then start a new round. That's typical of epic multiplayer stuff. That's you guys have done it before, right? Uh, okay. All right. At the end of the round, any player may exhaust one non-unique ship objective that you control to give it to another player on any team at the same stage. It enters the new player's control exhausted with all previous tokens and conditions still on it, and no player may control more than three ship objectives at once. Oh. You have to exhaust it, and you can't use it that round. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, it's it's in, get it in the hands of somebody who needs it. Uh, now, it says sure. same stage, so at the moment, none of you are at the same stage. Okay. But when that changes, you have the ability to do this. Okay? All right. Uh, now... You will see, soon see that uh, ship enemies will have different occasions where they will switch staging areas as well. Uh, so if that happens, any ship enemies or condition attachments that would be placed in the discard pile of a team other than the one they were originally drawn from are instead removed from the game. Place them in the original team's discard pile at the end of the round. So you can't just give all your ships to one other team and then it's all in their draw pile and not in yours. Once it's destroyed, from somebody else's, it goes back to yours. Okay, that's now, if it's not destroyed, but it's like say, placed in the victory display, then that would be a different story. Um, 
Okay. okay. And there is it here at the end. Uh, if you, if somebody at some point kills the Raider flagship, uh, the start of the next round, every player on every team has the opportunity to reduce your threat by 10. Hmm. And Ooh. all heroes do not exhaust a quest or sail that round. Ooh. <clears throat> So hey Joe, valuable at some point. where are yeah. these cards at? Okay, so these cards, uh, there's a section called Cobus Haven Cards. It's yeah. in the text channels. Uh, it is just above the 1A, 1C, 1E. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So that is the first side of the <clears throat> rules. The second side uh, is specific to stage 2A, 2B. So um, I'm going to put that out there right now. And we'll cover that here. Can I ask a real quick question? Yeah, go for it. Uh, if we, if the Dream Chaser is still a lost condition? Yes. Okay. We tried not to change any of the text on any of the cards as much as possible. That's fine. I just want to make sure that if we, if the, if any one of us loses the Dream Chaser. Yep. We I can't the... lose the Dream Chaser because I'm not sailing in the Dream Chaser. I was told to name it something else. <laughs> well, we named it the card formerly known as the Green Chaser. Oh, great. It's the Prince of Cards. <laughs> okay, so we've got a 2B end of the round checklist that I'm placing out here right now for reasons you will soon understand. At the end of the round, any team on stage 2B has to resolve this uh, from the top to bottom. So the first player on each team at stage 2B must deal X damage among ships they control where X is twice the number of guarded Tower of the Gull objectives in play at any stage. So if Whoa. some team that's not there yet has a guarded Tower of the Gull objective in play, it's going to be affecting any team that's at stage two. Ooh. Now that goes for the next two objectives as well. Uh, C Tower objective is going to exhaust X characters, uh, where X is the number of guarded C Tower objectives. So we have one of them somewhere else or in the same place. Uh, that means that the first player at stage 2B uh, is going to have to exhaust X number of characters. And then the Tower of the Heron uh, turns it into X random discards for the first player. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's only I see where the punishment's well. coming now. Jeez. Oh, this is the lights. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, okay. Now, the first player uh, on stage 2B may exhaust a ship objective they control to engage a ship enemy in another team's staging area that is not guarding an objective. Both teams must be at stage 2B. So if you two have two teams at stage 2B, one of them can exhaust, uh, the first player on one team can exhaust the ship objective they control to engage a ship enemy from the other team's staging area. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And at the end of... Uh, all of done, we've done all of that. Then we would move the Raider flagship and all tokens on it to the staging area of the team at stage 2B with the most ship enemies in play, including itself. If this is a tie, it doesn't switch teams. Uh, so even if you engage it and it stays with you, it's going to go back to the staging area. But if somebody else has more enemies than you, uh, then it will, or more ship enemies than you, then it will switch to a different team. Okay. Oh. Everybody follow all that? Any questions? why we have somebody running the encounter deck so they yes, can remind we us will, of all these new... We got mm -hmm. three of us who, who made these and we know how these work and uh, we'll be able to run you through this. At the end of the round, each team can send a representative to uh, this command post and we'll be here to walk through the, all these different stuff that we're doing. Okay? Great. Sounds good. All right, so let's talk about what's happening next now. How about the when revealed side? I don't want to know the when revealed side. Here's 1B. <laughs> One, two, one reveals each player must choose either add one resource to each of their hero's resource pools or draw three cards and advance to stage 2A. Oh, God, it's one of those. Oh, they're giving us something Me? good. That's never yeah, good. That feeling when you find out the exam is an open book. That's that feeling right now. Totally easy. I was just about to say, should we turtle on stage one? <laughs> uh, B, let's see. Killing X is equal to the number of players. This stage times five. Okay, so you guys have twenty progress to make. Cards, guarding tower objectives are immune to player card effects. 
You cannot leave the staging area. A ship enemy engages you. If you are off course, deal two damage to a ship objective you control. Okay, you guys ready to deal with that? We're already on two big yeah, two that's right. here, guys. I don't know, but uh, we already made it through our first part. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll, we'll deal. Oh, we have 30. What? 30? It's 5. 4 times 5. No, plus 10. Because it's first with 10. For... 10 plus 5 plus 5 plus oh, 5 plus 5. I okay. I <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure who the stream check. Yeah, card talk, you're on a you're, you're on a different more on card cardboard. Okay. Um yeah. I also gonna have to reveal two A and two B, but before I do that, card talk needs to make the decisions about when revealed. And then we will all split up after that. Okay, so um, as in our stream, each player must choose to either add one resource to each of their heroes or draw three cards. Which one? I'm going to draw three cards. Look how kind that is. I hate yeah, you for now. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw three cards as well. One. Then stage 2A says, raise your threat by one for every card in your hand. No! <laughs> Just saying, easy mode, guys, gives you extra resources. It doesn't give you extra cards. Okay, is there everybody inside? I'll take the cards as well. So everybody took cards. Nobody All right, here you go. Then you're moving on to 2A. Okay, 2A, here we go, guys. Oh, please. Please don't make me discard my cards. I love these cards. <laughs> I love my cards, too. Surge the encounter deck and discard pile for a ship enemy and add it to the staging area. Two ship enemies. If there are three or more, there's three or more players. Shuffle the encounter deck. For each unguarded objective, attach a non-unique ship enemy to the staging area to that objective guarding it. So, uh, everybody else can pay attention, too, because this will be the same two-way you guys get because you're advancing to the same stage. A salted pork find two ship enemies for us so we can choose it can be the sure same you want me to find enemies. those for you oh i'm saying put them out there and then we'll choose which one we want and then um the scouting ship i think is the one that's nice right uh the corsair skirmishers aren't half bad either okay although it is a little early to to deal with those one of those is going to have to go one of those is going to have to go on the docks of dal amra if we've got ally yeah we need ally Ship that's not guarded right now. Have you decided? Actually, this is not the right time of the game to grab Corsair Skirmisher. Siege, no, the siege, uh, the siege ship has archery too, but um, but no boarding. That's nice. Boarding, and it'll be guarding in an objective. I mean, that that's like a no-brainer right now. Yeah, let's grab the seed ship and a, and a scouting ship, I guess. Yeah, I agree there. I was going to say, we could do two seed ships. That's archery it's for, a, though. Doesn't have to say two, right. Well, I'm just saying, it's, it doesn't say it's different. Two you could just do a warship. Just saying. Yes, yeah, we could do a warship. <laughs> We're not going to do a warship, but we could. Right. All right, what's the call? So we're first going to do the seed ship. That's going to come out and attach to the uh, oh. to the uh, the docks. And then we'll and then we'll do the scouting ship, I guess. All right, cool. then here's 2B. E or not 2B. Sailing. The beginning of the quest phase, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a ship enemy is discarded. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's mean. You guys should be ashamed. The stage must resolve the 2B. Okay. So we're going to be resolving our 2B checklist all over the place, guys. <laughs> all teams are on 3. B and all objectives in all play areas are controlled by the players. All teams move on to stage three. A ships in play moves on to three A. The others move through. Okay. All right. We're all set. Let's begin. <laughs> I don't know if we're all set, but good luck, guys. You <laughs> yeah, picked that stage. 
<laughs> Don't worry, you guys have yes, three extra cards in over. your hand, so you're fine. Don't worry, everybody else is coming to help. We'll get there eventually. Okay. See you in like four rounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Yep. There you go. Isn't this exciting? Yes. <laughs> I think we need to reset already. <laughs> okay, so you guys got to get 30 progress. And we can't free any of the tower objectives, basically. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Right. So I got to keep switching between these two screens. All right, so we're at 1F, right? Correct. Okay. Cards guarding tower objectives are immune. Cannot leave the staging area. All right, your ship enemy engages you and you're off course. All righty. Yeah, well, the basic gist of it is uh, they're under fire and you guys got to get there to help them out. Yep, which makes sense. Yep. Are we ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. I'm yep. ready. I'm just, I'm, I'm just messing with my uh, my settings here. So go ahead. Go ahead. You, everyone needs to push. Oh, I to do oh, my gosh. OK, right. I'm like, what are we waiting for? You guys may have to remind me that I'm part of that, because I'm. Mm. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. against you guys. It was Joe. You're, was you're a pseudo player. I did press Control N here. Come on. There you go. Oh, that's a lot of cards. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad I put that reminder there because I forgot already. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Well, I'm playing the Eagles Joe are coming while you're going. First player. Nice. Well, I have Test of Will ready, but I don't have a very strong first turn here. That's what I got. Next turn should be better. Okay. I'm finished. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that's not going to work. I was going to say, how are you attaching that to him? <laughs> yep, he's not Gondor yet. No, okay. <laughs> he still gets the plus one, but yeah. A preview. He, yeah, he will be a steward eventually. All right. Well, I'm playing Red Staff. Okay. Turn one Gildor. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that's helpful. Wait, okay, wait, I have here gone. Oh yeah, okay, so the timing is I quest of here gone and then I do the staff before and I can play a four cost eagle for one, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. All right. It's been a while since I've done this trick. That's a great Noldor turn there. Wow. <laughs> I have no cards. I got rid of them. Wow. Noldor liked that ship. Mm -hmm. it, it oh, I reason, actually but... forgot about that. <laughs> uh, hmm. In that case. Actually, then... I don't want him to exhaust. Round. Just keep your low resource. That way you can play ally for free with to the sea, right? Well, I used to uh, to the sea to the sea to get uh, Gildor out. You're correct, though. I could 
keep the green money. Don't really need this. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. Good call. Alright, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Alright, I'm all I'm all set as well. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sailing good. then. Sailing. <clears throat> um, we have five in staging. I guess I'll try to sail for three. Get, have somebody up just in case something bad happens. It's dangerous, but such is the first turn. Mr. Thomas, did you get your attack up to nine? Uh, it will. It will be. Hey, I'm here. Once I, yeah, it will be when I yeah. exhaust a quest. It's nice. just strength and courage is only for the attack. All right, oh, that's test, not man. okay. Sailing yeah, test, in three, yeah, one, two, Yay. three. You are on that course. Should do it. All right. Quest clock. Quest away. Um, yeah, I am here right now. Base is six. He will be. Got it. For one attack. No one has Sentinel. I'm... I do. It's a ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. gonna not quest with anyone if uh, we can handle that. I'm sending the part. the whole team. So four, five, six, seven, eight, and exhausting the staff. Um, I would like to do the nine. I would like to do five damage to the scout ship that is currently guarding the airline. How much damage? Five. I uh, aim or attacks for nine. If I raise my threat by one. Okay. Uh, isn't that so, a kill then? Uh oh, it is. Yeah, never mind. It dies. But he only wants to do five. Yeah. No, no, I do. I do. No, I, I do. Oh, he actually wants to kill it. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. kill it. Kill say. it. All right. Okay. I thought it had. I thought it had more hit points and defense. And whatever. It's dead. Next one. Okay. Uh, are you guys all quested? Should yeah. I throw my guy in? What do we got? I sent eight. Did everyone type it in? Yeah, I typed in mine. Uh, Sorry. So we have twenty. Um. The two. Thing is with the airling, do we want to use its action right now? If if it's free of encounters, add to the Which state in area control. Action. Exhaust it to ready a hero. hero. Well, yeah, why not? Mm. Oh, yeah. so someone just can in sense. Case I see someone see, can uh, send. Okay, uh, for... doing it later, just in case somebody gets an enemy there and expecting to make it yeah. respond. Yeah, it's, I think let's wait. That works. Okay. Uh, is everybody quested? Yep. Yeah, what are yep. we at? 22. 22? 22 okay. against 3. That seems pretty good. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I'm going to put it. When revealed, place one resource in each raider enemy in play. Yeah. Each engaged ship enemy makes an immediate attack. If there oh, are no sir. engaged non ship enemies, battle hardened gains surge. Great time for that card. Guard number one. When revealed, choose a ship enemy that is not currently guarding an objective. Attach the enemy to an unguarded <laughs> objective in the staging area. Guarding it. Gosh. Return that enemy to the staging area if it is engaged. Darn it. If no ship enemy is returned to the staging area by this effect, the raider's assault gains Oh man. That's why I was thinking that we should use the ship objective. Because between that and the... I could cancel that, that, but it slows my... It's not worth it. Yeah. It does cancel the surge as well. Yeah, oh, that is true. Card and a half. We'll do it. Cancel. Okay. Yeah. All right, that was card one. Here's card yep. two. When revealed, if you are off course, the engaged We're ship not. enemy with the highest attack makes an immediate attack. Until the end of the phase, add one to the total threat in the staging area for each damage dealt by this attack. If no attack is made as a result of this effect, ramming speed gains doomed to oh, two. Yep. No, I don't like that. Doom 2 for a whole card isn't too painful. No, it's so annoying. Okay, next card. Card 3. Taking on water. When revealed, attached to a ship objective. 
counts as a condition attachment with a text forced when attached objective exhausts deal two damage to it. Action, exhaust three characters you control to discard taking on water. That's me. So you removed all the locations and enemy cards, right? And it's nothing but treacheries? <laughs> is, that, is that what you did here? It's, uh, it's very special shuffling. That makes sense for me. Yeah. All right, take it. All right, card four. Yep. Boarding party. When revealed, each player reveals the top card of the Corsair deck and puts it into play engaged with him. That's what I wanted to cancel. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, we would have got it. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. ready? Yeah. This is why I didn't quest with Bard. Well, okay. we definitely quested successfully. Yep. Yeah. We revealed zero threat. Umbar captain for Joseph. Have fun. David gets one of those too. Oh. Have some fun over here with a raid leader. Go when away. He engages you. Uh, you move one of your resources oh, to. Oh, he's stealing your monies. And uh, you can have a south run. Oh, that easy guy. Yeah, you just get the easy one. I assume you're going to give him a resource. Uh, I, can do that. I had one on, on AM. Okay. All right. I'm going to be using, uh, since we quested successfully, this ability. Well, let's, yeah, quest successfully. So deal two damage to the scouting ship. Okay. All right. You guys sent how much in? 22. 22. There's three out there. So, so that's 18. 19 progress. Yeah, so you're on 19. Well, you're almost there. This a is easy. fair job. Well done, chaps. Would you gents like to travel? I don't think we want to. Uh, after you travel, choose a Oh, it's there. response. You don't have to do it. Might as well go there, but not use the response. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. Damn. Traveling there, not using the response. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm saving you a threat by putting two damage on there, aren't I? Aomir deck. Because you won't have to raise your threat to... Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh... Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. So we yeah. Have no, I yeah. I think we are. <laughs> Would you like to engage the scouting ship? Not really. No. Nope. Goes against everything we're trying to do. Now, how does that make sense? All right. Uh, Mr. Thomas, what's your plans over there? Uh, deal with it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, cause we, so we have the air language. It's not real helpful. Well, it can it's either nice. No, he's going to take it or AM is going to take it. Well, wait, hold on. I got a sentinel ship. That can defend against enemies, right? Ship. Wait, not, nope. not against horses. Ships. Ships. I'm sorry, what? Ships can only defend against ships. Oh, okay. It's been a while yeah. since I've done this. Yep. So we have two possible hero deaths if shadow cards go bad here. Pretty much, yeah. Hmm. Bring it on. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Nope. Didn't try. <laughs> It's good thing you were sailing correctly. Yeah. Didn't run into the coast. Jumping. Elvin, Elvin Jeweler chumping the... Oh, boy. Nice. Very dead. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Look at this pretty... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found a seashell. Yikes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, that hurts. Yeah. No, it lives. It's five Each attack good. enemies turn one are no fun. Yeah, no, he's, yeah. Good, good, good. She gets stabbed at and is very upset. But, yeah, that hurts a I lot. Think, I think these uh, guys are all swimming to your boat from the scouting ship you sank. 
<laughs> you know, well, it was Chad, not a boarding party, I, it was a swimming party. I, I think you need to use A one's abilities so that you can take out that Southron sailor. That seems like a pretty big <laughs> deal there. No. Yeah, you should. Wait a minute, how the hell did I even play this card? One, <laughs> two, three. Oh no, I did it right. Three cost reduction. Right. Okay. Right, anybody have any oh, attack sorry, like... they want to do? Uh my I, ship is ready, but I will attack with my ship. Wait, you can't. can you attack? No. Ships can only attack ships, right? Yeah. Ships are useless. Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> so we still have air, the the airling that we haven't used yet. That's true. Kill something. Well, we can't. <laughs> I can't kill my guy, but I can give him four damage. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, exhaust airling, give the raider four damage because he four can't... damage. He has plus He's got defense. two defense, and Aimer has six attack. Uh, okay, I see. I oh see yeah, I... silver wing buffs. Yeah, silver wing gives him another one. Sorry. Oh, there's plus one. Solar right. yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you're doing how much damage? Four total. Damage. Okay. All right. Yep. And that was the airline doing that. Yes, because that readies okay. AMR and then lets them lets them attack. So. All right. Anything else, or we refresh? Refresh, I guess. I don't. Ha I don't have anything. So. Okay. Refresh because we've not moved on to the next round yet, just yet. So uh, you need you guys need to pick one of you to be the representative of this team at the council. Oh. Okay. I can do it. I'll do it. Okay. Well. Uh, let's see here. Put in the chat that we are ready when two other people are. The shadow cards are still here. I can't stand it. <laughs> All right, shadow cards gone. I like how you followed the technical ruling that shadow cards are supposed to stay in play for much longer than we typically allow them to. I'm trying to remember it for myself. Because I tend to forget it, but it's something that can matter at certain times. It can, in certain games. That was an interesting round, you guys. Nothing yeah. but treacheries? Treacheries, 19 progress. Yeah. These four pirates are going to be a problem. Almost two dead that heroes? Hurt. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Uh. And I had to delay my King of Dale the whole turn, too, so I'm in trouble. Yeah. I mean, I'm currently accomplishing my goal of Amber just blowing things up immediately. So, there's that. Nineteen progress in the first round is, is moving. Yeah. Especially when I'm only two decks for the questing. <laughs> yeah. The one nice thing is we will all be able to get allies in a little bit cheaper next turn. That'd be nice. Oh, really? Man, Man the, the walls. walls. Nice. Because I need someone to jump. And Amir is already cooking, so... It's fine. I like Man the Walls. Man, the walls is great. I really like this card. Are there a lot of walls in your boats? Uh, Apparently, sure. because they're blocking all yep. the gun ports. <laughs> hey, Chad, when's the healing coming? Uh, well, if I, can, <laughs> if I can get it in cheaper next round, I can play it. And where's Elrond? Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Elrond? Yeah, he gives double healing. Yeah. That's my other deck. I've, I've played this <laughs> deck with Elrond before, too. Yeah, there's a, a couple ways you can do it. Oh, uh, that, yeah. deck's, that deck's insane. That does not surprise me at all. I wonder how the other teams are doing. I mean, realistically. Yeah. 
I mean, realistically, any deck that has Elrond and any sort of healing is just ridiculous. Pretty powerful stuff. I'm just really hoping that these Eagles of the North just start picking up the warships and just carrying them off into the mountains. Well, that that's the goal, man. Yep. Oh, I know. I don't see any warships. Yeah, they're not here yet. That's that's the thing. And I'm totally okay with that because Amor can't just throw a javelin at them and just blow them up. <laughs> not yet, anyway. If you play a man uh, the walls, that means next turn I can play a Ward of Healing and Eagles of the Misty Mountain in the quest phase, which is pretty good. Uh, it only works for the first ally. No, I'm just saying I was going to play Eagles no matter what. But oh, now okay, gotcha. I can also play Warden, which is great. Excellent. Yeah, so let's. Yeah, that's happening. I need an I need an envoy out to just deal with this raid leader, so Naisia doesn't just get killed. Here, envoy, envoy. <laughs> Got a job. Hey, you have a contract. Okay, Amber gets a resource. Oh wait, you died. Well, that's your job. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Come on, you can't. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can't quest, so it's yeah, it's whatever. This is always the fun part of epic multiplayer: is that everybody's done different times. Mm -hmm. I thought we were going to be last with the, it's the weight. <laughs> you know, having so many enemies. All of the combat stuff. that just happened. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it helps easy to get like free money. Yeah. I'm really curious to see how this plays with 12 people playing it because we could never test it that, at that number. Well, no, of course not. You didn't do a three windowed octagon 12 handed? Yeah. Two, no. <laughs> <laughs> This is the part where they come back and say, "Ah, oh, guys, we need to reset." Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it wasn't for time, I'd be okay with that. This pirate situation is unpleasant. Card talk has seven cards, six cards in staging, but they aren't dead. Well, that's good. See, just not everyone is as awesome as we are. All right, Chad, we'll get to where you are. Man post. Kidoki. So we currently have a Seaward Tower that is guarded. And we have a Tower of the Gull, which is guarded. We don't have anything. But one Seaward Tower and one Tower of the Gull? What? Terrible thing happens. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to use the smaller font next time. My goodness. Which player? We were, we were battling the whole time just to make sure we didn't put too much text in these cards, and it was a it was a tough task because you have to add good stuff in here, but then it wind up winds up being wordy and so okay, so. There's only there's down. only one C word tower and one tower of the goal, and that's it. Yeah. We also have a Tower of Terror and that's guarded in the actual location. Oh, that's right. That's still guarded. Okay. Well, so one of each. Okay. Doesn't this only apply on stage two? Although, uh, there is a team it, that's already on stage two. It hits everyone at stage two. Oh, that's right. It hits every. Uh, that's right. That's yep. the one wow. team only. <laughs> yep. 
teams at stage one can't even free their objectives yet. So let's see. Okay, so cool. We got our thing. I guess we can just go back, right? Yeah, there's nothing I'll else to do with any of those just for now. Uh, Perfect. Unless Anyone you guys sending want to talk us about, ships? Uh, we can't. Different stages. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, it's like I play tested this or something. If you need to tell people to hurry up or slow it down, you can tell them that here. <laughs> this is the part no, where when our practice quest, me. I'd always be going, help, help. <laughs> They're doing fine. They're fine. <laughs> Take your time, guys. Awesome. It's not like any All right, good luck. Tomorrow. All right, see you guys soon. Good, right. good luck. Hey. Good. Looks like we're back on. Okay, let's do this. Man, man those walls <laughs> all right new round i'm just gonna add time tokens to amr just to track <laughs> how many yeah. votes <laughs> i was wondering if you could do that yep the, the time tokens are going to be how many ships that amr blows up nice okay. just in the staging area Very nice. for the fun of it Oh. Huh. So you want to go ahead and play me on the walls? Yeah, well, before we where's that uh, wall? Oh, yeah. That, yep. that wall and, the man and the walls thing you're saying. Yep, yep, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure that about that. Oh, yeah, okay. uh-huh, that right. happens. That ally can't quest. Oh, bummer. All right. That, that's... I am going to be triggering... It's not like you're... I'm triggering gonna say, It's him. not like you're going to be using right. the warden. All right, wow. I will heal Nasea and Bard. F6 for the octagon. Thank you. Noobs. Yep. I was off by one. Like I said, this is like the fifth or sixth game that I've played. So, on octagon, anyway. Um. Now I have a debate. Do I want. Nah, I gotta get this eagle of the north. Eagles of the Mist Mountains in. I'm finished. I'm done. No, okay. I'm still working on it. Oh, actually, that'll work out good. Ooh, alt art. I like these ones. Uh, those are so so good looking. She doesn't look that enthusiastic about her message. I mean, that's why she's going to die. Is that the, yeah, did yeah. you write the message saying, hey, come here and die? What did you do? She's like, so do you want to reply or what? <laughs> I can't even read this. I don't even know what this says. What's this even supposed to mean? <laughs> what, where? <laughs> oh, that, yeah. What's that, Chan? Jen? The, that's what she's saying while she's holding. That's the oh, one. Yeah, yeah. Who writes this kind of stuff? But those Noldo are moving over there. Yeah, I'm making some decisions. I think I need to save money for a test will. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah I'm going to hold them. Hold but I want time. a treachery to come hold. out so I can spend it. Hold. <laughs> Have you used Arwen yet? You can just discard nothing for Silver Harp and get another one, right? Hmm. You have to have a card in your hand to do it, though. You can't just discard nothing. That's right. Oh, okay, I know what I'll do. We have rules about these sorts of things. Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> Things just got really worse. <laughs> that was wow. not the intention. What did <laughs> you hit you hit delete and save instead, <laughs> instead of F four. I was just seeing if you were paying attention. We that lost our shipwright. 
It's all right. Yeah, Coach arbitrarily okay, kills Tyrion and Arwen. At least do it when it matters, which is pretty much uh, never. David, when you discard a hero, you discard all their attachments too. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Don't mean to meddle, but you, did you trigger Galdor already, too? I did, yeah. God, quit quarterbacking, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's pretty familiar with this deck, shall we say, so. Are you guys set for sailing? Yeah. I'm the meddler, I'm the meddler class. Oh, okay. So good, so good. <laughs> All right, what's your sailing plan? Uh, I guess I'm the first player. I can throw in the ship if you want. Okay. And yeah, I might as well. The ships it. don't do anything otherwise. Yeah, ship <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Nothing at all. Um, Galdor makes sense. And who's going to defend the stupid Umbar captain? That is the question. Gildor will probably have to do that. So we'll also send an elbow here. So with dream chaser which counts as two characters this would bring us up to four All right. i think that's enough guys you should rename that the bomber four seems good all four. right four's our our decision all right one to be fair you only need one three. Yes. Yay! There, we there we go hey all right question question Um, I am going to play Sneak Attack plus okay. Gandalf. All right. Um, and then I just want to draw cards. There we go. That's all. I'll probably forbear from questioning at all. Looks like we have a lot of willpower if with Gandalf. Oh, yeah. I'm setting then six. Air yeah, Amra will spend a resource. Theodore will will then give him a resource. Um, that scouting ship blows up. Nice. Um, consideration. We probably don't want to proceed to side two, side three, side two, side two, stage two, stage two. So, because we know it's coming, right? And I don't know if we feel ready for that. Yeah, we we can turn a little. Uh, so a turn. we could. Gives us two more Make ships. sure, because it's what uh, eleven more progress will get us through the current quest, but we also need five progress on the current location, so we would need to beat everything by sixteen. So we probably don't want to do more than say twenty. All right, my six is pretty good. I mean, there's no reason to keep Aon from questing, and I want the yeah. Hirgon, um mm -hmm. thing. So I'm sending six. Yeah, I'm also giving six, just because I want to blow this ship up so we don't have to deal with more Yep. Enemies. I'm doing seven. No, plus six, six, seven. That's, that's 19, right? Six, six, and seven. It's 19. Correct. Yeah. Correct, yeah. I don't know where that number came from. That seems okay. fine. We're definitely going to yeah, quest, it. We're, yeah, we'll quest successfully, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. Fine. Are you ready for cards? Yep. You have zero. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Card one. I mean, you have to kill a captain. Taking on water. <sighs> deal attached to a ship objective. It's a condition. When it exhausts, deal two damage to it. I'll take it. Who wants it? You got it? You already have I'll... one. Can't I put one more on? Uh... It doesn't say limit. It doesn't. Have two holes. Yeah, not... <laughs> you can have one of them. You're really taking on water over there. <laughs> but he's not sinking yet. Yeah, I'm hoping to get rid of one of them this round. All right, I guess it's yours. Take it. Okay. Just make sure. Nolder would know how to build better don't, boats. Don't exhaust that shit. That's <laughs> right. All right, card two. You would think, Upstairs especially with sure. Oh, here we go. 28. Mm. Card three is Coast of Anfloss. Okay. And card four is Boarding Party. Oh, come on. Cancel I want to cancel it. I want to cancel it. I want to cancel please. it. Please, 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 please. You. you don't want to have a double boarding party? No. Nope. The first one. No. Nope. 
That's like a no, COVID. Absolutely not. They're as much fun as COVID parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too soon. All right. So uh, 19 minus 6 out here. So that's yep. going to be 13. Uh, so we... 13. Just short of it. Perfect. That's fine with me. Belfast Island goes to the Victor Display. Um, so are we engaging? The ship has to come down, right? Mm. Oh wait, I gotta the do. I got. I gotta do my thing. Oop. Yeah, do your thing. David, would you like to exhaust your ship to travel to the coast of Anvilos? No. <laughs> so I, I have the Sentinel ship, so I shouldn't exhaust mine. I think all of them are actually. Silent. Oh, are they? Yeah. yeah, mine. Oh. Mine has ranged, but all of them are Sentinel. Oh, oh, mine is literally just drawing an extra card. That's the thing. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. All of the ships have sentinel. Okay. Which helps. So we should we should travel though. Okay. Who's exhausted? Yeah. Not so. maybe not the range ship. Probably not. I mean, because I can range four. Okay. Well, whatever ship doesn't exhaust is going to have to defend basically. So let's keep a four. Oh, why don't we keep Chad's ship up instead? Oh yeah. Okay. Minutes. Okay. Sounds good. I mean, Nar Narlenya, or the, the Lunar Lemboss, has the best defense. But Narlenya doesn't want to exhaust. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, um, that's fine. I can defend. Damage just Crap. for exhausting. Yeah. I, I can yeah. actually. I, I'll, I can exhaust. That's well, cool. remember, it's also going to bring boarding one with it. So you're going to end up with essentially two enemies if you engage it. Hmm. And none of us are particularly suited to that right now. Uh, we do have the air along. Oh. Which can red be a hero. Don't That's forget about right. that. Gandalf's yeah. gone, by the way. Okay. Well, he's in my hand. But yes. He's You're hiding. Right. He'll arrive from two enemies when he's later. So, it's fine. Um, what if... I mean, potentially, I could maybe take three attacks. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Do you want to? Well, I don't. I mean, it'd be nice if the descendant went away and did some damage to somebody, but I don't care. He'll just go under the eagles, and then the eagles can defend, and the ship can defend. I can that squeeze two ready as a guardian of Eskaroth, but it's going to take me forever to kill it, so I'm happy for Chad to take the pain. Yeah, yeah I'm good with that. All right, throw it over here. Chad takes the ship. There you go, and here's some boarding. Umbar Raider. After he attacks, steals that's... your monies, but only when he attacks. So as long as he attacks last, it's well. Boo! I wanted that money. Yeah. Not great. Um. All right, gents. What you gonna do? Uh. Before we Good continue, um, just because I don't want the, my leadership resource going away, um, everyone draw. Sweet. Okay. Maybe it's something I can use. Justice shall be done. Great. All right. I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> uh, planning can action. Can I draw an encounter card, too? No. Uh, he said Absolutely. Everyone. No. You don't count, Joe. Spirit Pippin is out here. He's ready to go. Nobody cares about Spirit Pippin. Uh, I guess technically I defend fire. first. That's why we have an achievement at the con. Because That's no cool. one cares. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your defense, David? Uh, if I defend with a hero, uh, any slight boost could end up with a dead hero. If it's plus one attack, I have a dead hero. Which means I should probably defend with Gildor. If it's plus one attack, he also dies. Which would be very sad, but I don't know what else to do. Less sad than a hero. Yeah, so I guess Gildor it is. Three versus five attack. Survives. Yep. Good riddance to that shadow. Card. Sweet. And we get rid of a Corsair warship. Which is fantastic. Uh, the Envoy will do her job and just get murdered. This is when she finally reads the card. Uh, Aww. Tower. Like, why are you trying to kill me and stuff? <laughs> eh, this, it's her job. It's fine. All right. That's ship against part. ship. Alright, nothing. Okay. Uh, which one hits harder? 
the three attack against the descendant. Bye bye descendant. Uh, after he attacks, okay. Woohoo! Uh, and he's gonna steal your resource. Ooh. All right, he's dead. Oh, hey, you just put on where there. Where does he go? Under the eagles. Eagles. All right. Uh, oh. Eagles will defend. Technically, it's plus one. No, nothing. I'm fine. Does our stage already put two damage on this guy too? Uh, that's correct. Quest card. After he destroys it. Wait, why does he get damage? What? So that is uh, the if, quest you, card. if you are on course and an enemy ship engages you, it takes two damage. If you're off course, your ship uh, takes damage. Oh, okay. okay. Good call. All right, what do we got here? We'll take one damage because of my spare hood and cloak shenanigans. Okay. Uh, attacks back. It's not a lot of ranged on the table, is there? No. Not at all. I don't believe, other than your vassal. Two damage. Okay. Mm, I don't like this take money guy. All right. All yeah. I all I can do is oh sorry. One damage on Umbar Captain. Just pinging him. Yeah. Death um, cuts. Chad, do you want the air lung so that you can attack stuff? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Uh, it, yeah, we still. It, yeah. It's a hero. I can kill. I, yeah, it is a hero. I can kill the raid leader with Naisia. I just have to spend your resource to do it, yeah. which is fine. It's not a problem. I don't know if anybody is able to kill or get closer to. I mean, I can attack for four, any other and I'm one away. Or I, hmm, I could boost up Aowen and then ready her with her ability, kill something, then use um, the objective to ready her again, and she could kill Ooh. a second one. That might be pretty. I like that idea okay. a lot. All right, I'll do that. So me. Are you planning on killing the ship or no? Actually, not. <laughs> well, can I? Okay, so she's yeah. gonna ready. Well, except kill... you want three out willpower said... worth of allies to take that ship once you kill it. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I Ideally, want... but I, if we can deal with ourselves out of a hole, yeah. Well, definitely the raider, the umbar raider. He's dead. Yeah. yeah. So I'm before you dead, do but... that, I'll use Nicia to murder uh, the raid leader. I'll spend the resources and just kill him. Okay. So she hits for four. So Aowen's attacking for oh. ten, and we're going to exhaust the objective to pop her back up. Uh, yeah, let's... So what happens if we kill the ship? Okay, what are we saying? i got to read it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah, we get the ship objective. Hmm. Okay, discard allies. He controls with a total of three willpower. Just discard the Dawn Stars fight. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's not destroying. You're still in the game. It's true. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll ever really be able to do that. <laughs> oh, that's a fair point. Just I mean, like, I, for next time, yeah. I'll just, I just want to kill it. That's fine. Yeah. All All right. Right. Kills it. Oh. Yep. And then. Okay. Uh, right, I guess we'll do one damage to the sailor. Okay. I think that was worth it. That looks a lot better. Raised? Yeah. Yep, I did my threat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. Refresh phase. Yep. Oh, super. I'm first player now. Hey, you're the only one with no enemies in front of you. Yeah. yeah one clean, clean, clean board card. state here. Yeah. Well, uh, I, would, I would expect nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have suspender straps? Do you have your thumbs in right now? I I flicked my underwear uh, elastic. That's you know, as close as I could get to it. Kind of hurt. <laughs> 
Never heard anyone say that sentence before. <laughs> All right. I don't have the other streams up, so I have no idea where they are. Yeah, I've, I think Wandering Took is done. Uh, yeah. They're still doing One, archery. Uh, stage two is still doing engagements. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, they got the most stuff to deal with. Excuses. That's their problem. Well, I mean, you guys yeah. could have joined them this round. No way. Yeah. No. <laughs> Could have or delayed for more stuff. I mean, every card got used this round. So that's true. Even the ones we didn't quest with did stuff. So it's not like we completely turtled. No, you didn't. I mean, getting nothing but treachery the first round leads to a very open staging area. Yeah. I feel like we probably want to go help them this round. Nah. <laughs> Want is a strong word. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> we were trying to figure out how, how difficult to make this whole thing, and trying to scale it is really tricky because this thing is so much more manageable with this many players where you can spread out the sailing. Yes. Uh, and so we, we were testing it at two players, and it was just about as hard as we could handle at that. It was, it was winnable, but it was just a nail-biting affair yeah and so we're like well we, we, we tried we tried one game where we took on the hardest stages with uh four players and it was it was challenging enough that we felt like hey this is okay we don't need to make it that much harder but uh seeing how you guys are cruising through this like, okay well i was right in saying somebody should take on nightmare mode for four players <laughs> nightmare mode is yeah. hard dude it is <laughs> But the thing is, with Nightmare Mode, you have a chance for other people to help you out once you get to the right stages. Still Nightmare Mode. has some of those nasty extra sh enemy ships that pop up during the sailing test, isn't it? Oh, is that three gross. Is that... I'm not saying yeah. it's easy, but I am saying it's doable. I'm actually really curious, after after this is all done, if you guys, whether you win or lose, I mean, there's a couple chances you guys had to have some pretty bad shadow effects here. Um, sometime later on this weekend to get maybe a two or three player game in with it. Yeah, I was going to say, I could, I could probably do it tomorrow, tomorrow at some point, but Saturday it doesn't work because I've got the Legion tournament. Because that's where we were just going like, oh boy, how do we handle this? And and the team at stage two was going, help! Get, get over here! We need you! One of the questions I had as I was looking through this is, do we need to, with four players, do we need to make it so that stage two has two extra ships per round instead of the one? No. Uh, and well, I mean, that's what the answer, that feels like no, but that means, what happens when it is, is you guys have the pressure then, okay, ours is nice to you, we got to go over there and help them. They've got to just survive. And that's what, that's what two players, like the first player, uh, the first team just survives until help can come. But if you guys are able to take your time, then the pressure is not being put hard enough on them to say, get your butts over here. <laughs> so, well, it's not like we're making decisions on by what they're doing. We're just making a selfish decision. Well, I mean, that's that's part of the... Uh, if, if, if you guys have gone to the uh, end of the round chat and they had said, oh my goodness, we are in trouble, and Chad comes back and reports that to you guys, then you might make a different decision about, okay, we got to get over there. Yeah. I wasn't sure we were going to survive turn one there. <laughs> no, that was looking interesting with that boarding party. If you'd if you'd done a different test of will, oh, did I miss one? Shoot, I missed one. Um, yeah. Yeah, if I hadn't done the test of will, I would have seen that and then another card. So that's the unknown. Yep. yep. If that boarding party hadn't hit you, it'd be a lot Much easier than we're looking at. Yeah. Even if it got another ship. Been a lot easier than four enemies, especially three of them with five attack. That wasn't kind. <laughs> no, that was pretty mean. Yeah, that's why I put test of will in this deck because I didn't know <laughs> what yeah. we'd be facing. I mean, test of will is just great. 
well, it's hard if I have to discard my whole hand and I lose it, but you know, that's yeah, a silver harp in there to help out with that. It's just a little so, bit uh, of uncertainty. Yeah. And four players, like we had have seen some being taken yeah. out, it was pretty high. Yep, and even if it's not the worst, just canceling anything is definitely going to help. Yep. What kind of plans do you guys have for this weekend? I'm doing Work. something tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's my big day. The custom, swag. the custom quest I've been made, I made, and then the swag after it. Yeah, I mean, what I've got a. To tune in to see the swag reveal. What's that? What time should I tune in to see the swag reveal? I mean, I think we can assume the quest will take two hours. Four-player game. So, four o'clock? Eastern time? Yeah. Okay. So if we start the quest at two, probably won't get going for 20 minutes like normal. And then, yeah. I'll, I'll do an ad everybody when I when we're getting ready to reveal the swag because I'm going to have to change how I'm streaming and stuff. So Looks like Tom Bombadil has showed up at stage 2A. Yeah, I think that's hilarious, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Not only has he showed up, apparently he, he's actually still in boats. Hey, doll, merrily, 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 life is but a dolly, dolly, hey, doll. I was telling him you should throw a Tom Bombadil in that deck just for the fun of it. Yeah. It sounds like it's been fun. And just a surge on it. Just blank the text box and just have it say surge. It does nothing. Uh, what the hell is this? Hey, it's to Oh. Card Talk is doing it on their YouTube? Yes. All right. I'll pull it up on my phone so I don't drain my computer. I'm tired, guys. Today was a long day. Yeah? Yep. I'm glad work's done for the week, though. Is it hot in your part of the country? No, it's actually incredibly nice. High 70s. It's been oh, it's high been 90s or 100 all week here. Yeah, I was going to say, it's by where it is in my, in my part of the country as well. Looks like they're almost done. Yeah, I think so. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, the snacky cakes get down. I was playing uh, some of the older quests earlier this morning, trying to uh, do the whole complete all the quests before the weekend's over. Yeah. See what's going on for the league? Yeah. It's at, it's, it's over 10% okay. now already. Yeah. Yeah. We, we completed the whole uh, first cycle. It's cool. Where do I see the checklist for that? Uh, you type um, progress is the, the right. keyword. Command here. Oh, okay. Hello. Kicking butt. Kick a butt and taking names. Hey. Yeah, we're, like we're, doing, we're doing good. Uh, yeah. How, how's the car talk stream going? Uh, it's going very well, actually. Yeah, they're we doing fine now. Okay. <laughs> Tom Bombadil has been clutch. <laughs> Don't you guys know you're supposed to practice social distancing? You've got a lot going on over there. That's right. I think I think we'll be joining uh, the two B stage this uh, turn. We'll be clearing our stage. Yeah, we might be. That's yeah, it's, it's tight. If, if we make as much progress as we did this last turn, then we'll advance. But we don't have anything guarded, and we don't have any ships in uh, under our control. Okay. Any anyone yeah. else have anything guarded or nah? We, uh, we don't have anything in our stadium. Tower of the area. Gull and the Tower of the Heron. Gull and Heron? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
Alrighty, I think uh, I think that's all set. So team uh, team two A right now is holding it down. Good job, boys. All right, next round. Okay, hope to see you soon. Good. All right. Goodbye. Yep. I think everyone's doing okay, guys. Great. Oh, okay. Good. You can control in. I'm good for next round. Yep. There we go. There it is. Excellent. Steward. Gandalf. Yep. I don't need that card. All right. How do I want to do this? Um. All right, so first the Warden will heal the two heroes with damage. Thank you. And then... That was not what I wanted. Staff. So now Radagast doesn't exhaust a quest. What are you playing over there? Oh, a golden belt. Yeah. So Amor can just have all of the things. All the things. I was not, not necessarily going to give them the weapons at this point. More rings? I mean, he's, he's already got the one. He already has <laughs> the one ring. So what about Fine. the second ring? Yes. Does anybody need two cards? Um, we I mean, need what? Cards, variable cards. Oh, interesting. If I had that, could I get another Guardian Rivendell? Mm. No. Well, let me think about this here. Two in one turn would be impressive. Okay, that would be actually, I have a card coming for Galdor. I was going to say that would be very, very impressive. Then. Oh, yeah, that's even more interesting. And then, okay, okay, uh, I will discard Elven Light to get him money. And then I will play Elven Light. I don't think there's going to be many forest traded locations in this quest. <laughs> I'm afraid not. No, probably yeah, if you not. gave me two cards from Berevor, I could get out another Guardian Rivendell. You might have it. All right. Giving draw to Aristor deck. I know. <laughs> I know. Greedy, greedy. <laughs> That's what you put Barabor in your deck for, right? To help out the Aerosaur deck? Right. Yeah. <laughs> A resource choked right now. I need to get a graphic <laughs> from Dale. But I got my Paunch fellow out. That helps. Oh, you're, oh there he is. There's your dad, bud. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that mustache. Glorious mustache. That's that's one word. <laughs> it's a rapist mustache. That's a different word. <laughs> Bard Sonic Rand looks a lot like Bucky from uh, Marvel World. Yeah, I can see that. Same patchy beard, wavy hair. Yeah, kind of. If that's a beard, I can't tell if it's beard or like acid scar or something. It's, uh, 
He used to pick at his pimples. Ugh. <laughs> Sarah Bush working on her Jay Leno. Nice little pose there. Mm -hmm. Everybody Brand ready? Branson of Bane never misses leg day. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, sailing. Not me. Yeah, apparently it's me this time. Um, Dream Chaser. <laughs> yeah, Dream Chaser would be helpful. Um, we'll do three? Three? Oh, right, because he doesn't have anything he can attack right now. Correct. And I'm... can potentially ready him up with Airling. I mean, I just yep, put I... in a Sentinel Winged Guardian, and I'm thinking of putting in a second one. So, I mean, you if you want to send four, you'll probably be covered. Four, four it is. Just First. to make sure we're on. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, Apparently oh, we don't need to oh, look at that. <laughs> that makes me feel bad. That's fine. Okay, quest away. Uh, Theodred will commit and give himself a resource because nobody <laughs> else is there. Eight from me. Fine, still gives me, still gives me leadership. Uh, I guess we're probably accepting the fact that we're moving on at this point, whether we like it or not. Yeah. Which is going to bring out like another two ships and probably like eight enemies. Blech. And because oh, my not, threat's but... at 35, they're probably all going to come out. Um, can we use Airling before questing happens? Because I would Control assume right you're get and yeah. So, yes. Absolutely. Um... Who do we want to ready? Do we want attack? Do we want defense? What do we want? Do you have something to have AMA or attack the staging area somehow after cards are revealed? Um, after it? No, okay. I don't. I don't have any of that, unfortunately. It'd be great, but I don't. <clears throat> I don't think it makes sense to ready any of my characters. Or um, is it possible for us not to move on? possible um right now it would take six progress to proceed so i might have to one. quest very little eight to ten i think we I mean, we'd have to quest probably like six to ten total and possibly have a little bit of a threat increase i don't know if that's worth it hmm. i just i feel like we're not ready to, to take what's coming Card talk's doing okay. I'm okay puttering for a little bit. I sure. need to kill this big captain. This will be very challenging to pull off, though. Yeah. If we just quest for eight, I think we'd be well, okay. Well, we're drawing four cards, so they're probably going to add threat of somewhere between four to eight. Could be zero, for all we know, I but it's four. probably going to be somewhere between four to eight, which means yeah, if we... We got four to yeah. play with as far as progress goes. One, two, three, four. No, we got more than that. Seven, six. Two, six yeah. Well, five. We can we can place five progress. So oh, I think, great, great, great. So maybe I, wait, ten. I was just going to say, ten seems like a round, good round number. I'll send eight. Well, and yeah. Kirdan can quest for free for four. So... Well, if someone else wants to hold back, because he doesn't even have to exhaust a quest. I want a quest of here gone, and Raddy oh, is right. exhausting as well. Okay. So I mean, I can go yeah. back Aowen, but what's the point? <laughs> I would, yeah, I would like to quest with Theodore just for the resource. Okay. So between so, you guys, what is that? I mean, I don't have uh, to send Radigas. He just doesn't exhaust a quest. I mean, I can just same here. Yeah. So we got four. Theodred gives one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then she would be 13, right? 13, I don't think yeah. we should do more than nine. 13, nine, play, 10, we're allowed 10, to place 10, five 10. progress, so that's a difference of eight. So if we that's reveal, if, if, if we reveal less than eight threat, we'd advance. So why don't I just say Radagast is not questing? Okay. So then we're 11? Yeah. 11, placing 5 progress. We can reveal 6 threat. If we reveal yeah. less than 6 threat, we're screwed. Well, not screwed, but... Pretty much. <laughs> uh, is that decided? Sure. Yeah, 11. Willpower. 11? 
Okay. There you are. No test of wills around, though, I don't think. Corsair what? Skirmisher. Okay. Uh, light Cruiser. Oh, boy. At least he's 37. Yeah. Balfless Islet. That's eight. And a sea ship. Mm. Ten. We made eight. So we make one. Okay. So if yep. I, I would have been fine. We could have. Yep. <laughs> we could have cleared that. It would have been yeah, perfect. It was, it was hard to know. Yep. Six treachery turn one. Zero turn three. So one thing that we do want to do is use air long right now because the seed ship is going to capture it before quest stage is done. Okay. Yeah. Because it's at the end of the quest phase, the, the seed ship is going to grab it. So who, who do you want to actually grab it? None of... Well, okay, the skirmisher is going to grab it. Or the, the Corsair skirmisher is going to engage us. Are these guys really exhausted? Just curious. Uh, no, they are not. If you ready one of your characters with the Dale deck, one of the heroes, can you kill your guy, maybe? Um, I could have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I could. So maybe you should. Take, I would like that. You should take the advantage would, of that. Actually, I don't need it if everything goes well. If I defend once with Guardian of Eskaroth, I can attack with my chubby dude and brand and kill it. So if nothing goes wrong, I'll be okay. All right. Well, then. Maybe already here gone because I'll I'll probably need to extra attack. attack. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, I gotta do here guns thing. Um, I feel like another yeah, Eagles of the Misty up. Mountain, or do we need Sentinel? What do you guys think? Sentinel, another Sentinel character, or an Eagles of the Misty Mountain? Eagles of the Misty Mountains. Yeah, I mean they're both good options. Okay. I'll just. I'm probably going to no. lose resources, so I'd rather just spend them all. Oh, yeah. oh wait. Yeah, no. I yeah, gotta, I, I would. I gotta spend them all. Yep. Yeah, I would just do that so they don't get stolen. Okay. There you go. Right. Yep. Seed ship takes over the airling. Mm. Can't travel. We use it. Hold on. Who are we ready in with the air along? You be uh, ready here, gun. Here, gun. Got it. Cool. Moving on. Uh, we have archery now. Uh, yes, but first engagement. Yeah. Mm. Who I don't want wants the skirmisher? I don't think anyone wants it, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's uh, dealing this... with it? I mean... Actually, the old ore deck's looking pretty good, too, so... Yeah, it's just the problem is my ship has got two of those attachments oh. <laughs> on it. So if it exhausts, it hurts pretty badly. Somebody can set no for you, though. Yeah, yeah I was going to say... Yeah, we've got sentinels up. I want to start killing stuff too. Um, I can't take it really. I don't mind taking want. it if that's what we just if if you. I can't discard the three willpower ally, but maybe if I get I some could of these potentially in. take it, but it's gonna be a while before I can focus on killing things. I gotta find my uh. Um, what are they? The, the uh, I forget what they're called. The ranged eagles. One cost ranged one. I can't think of what they're oh, called yeah. right now. Vassals, Vassals, of the wind Vassals, Vassals of the Windlord. Yeah. I gotta find yeah you those. guys are hurting for ranged sentinel. <laughs> yeah. I'll have some range eventually. I can take it. It's fine. I just can't. Are you, are you taking it or can you take it? Which one? Uh, are they both coming down or just one? Only just... one has to come down. Okay, well, I'll take the one that has to come down again. Okay, there you go. Uh, and any other engagements happening? Or you no, okay, we'll leave them up there. All right, boarding. Oh, look. Uh, okay. Oh, That's oh, oh, oh. Fine. This, uh... oh, wait, never mind. Okay, I'm doing <laughs> yeah. All right, shadow effects. We got archery two while I do our shadow effects. Don't we do damage somehow? I remember a ship getting damaged before. Uh, yep, I'll do it. Okay. Yep, that yeah, we can set I'll take it. one archery. Archer. 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 
Anybody else want the second archery? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could take it. I took one. Yep, I got it. By the way, you guys almost didn't have shadow effects. If you'd sailed for one less, you would have ah. more shadow effects. Uh. You'd have one. All right. Um, uh, let's see. So my ship versus my ship. Okay. Okay, that's awesome. And then this guy's attack. They're both attacking for two. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me just do some calculations here. I, I think I want my winged guardian to defend one of them. Uh, nope. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're good. I'm trying to power up this guy's attack. Call, call. And then he's attacking for two. Two. They're all attacking for two. Okay. Um, Radagast will defend. All right, perfect. Okay. Good riddance to the warship. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's a third we've time. We've lost two. Of, yeah, I was going to say, we've lost at least two of them in the shadows. Not complaining. No, I'm not either. <laughs> Aimer cannot murder them. All right, there you go. All right, let's see here. So I need to muster up eight. I can do it. Oh, that works out perfect. I can kill my ship. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, are you I was capturing say, it or are you killing it? What's that? Are you going to uh, discard the allies or are you going to kill it off? Hmm. I have another warden. So in theory, uh, I could claim this sucker. Chad, the other thing that um, I want to let you know is silver. The silver or the solar scimitar um, can add in another four ranged to kill your ship. Oh, nice. Okay, then keep the seagulls up. Um. Yeah, because then that can let you help you kill in kill some of the corsairs. Yeah. Why don't I claim it? I'm just losing a warden, really. Okay. Because then he goes under here. So I think that's actually okay. a smart move. Okay, so, whoops, take control. All right, do I get to use it, or is it exhausted? Uh, he's not exhausted. But you can't attack control. it. Can't so. attack anything with it. All right, yeah. attack for five and kill the non-damaged one. Okay. Uh, sweet, I got a boat. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on a boat. Three damage uh, It's going to take seven to kill this guy. So two, four, six, seven. And he's dead. And nice. I'm going to exhaust one, two, three characters to get rid of one of these two uh, ship attachments, Joe. Nice. Okay. Nice. Which now it's getting shuffled back in, but fine, whatever. Well, wait, how'd you, do, how'd you do that? Exhaust three characters? Ah, neat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Which is why I took them. That's neat. Yeah. I was going to say, between you and Chad, you guys are the ones who have the most allies, so. At least are more likely to. I should have a good cluster eventually, but. It's definitely not me, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Cool. Stuck is very much okay. Amr, you go deal with that. Just kill it. Yeah, but that's cool. I don't, you know, it's hard to see a good Amr deck, but I want him to work. He's at seven right now. He will still kill. Uh, next turn he can still kill that late cruiser. Awesome. Really? Yeah, he's getting a, a spear of the mark next turn. Ah, uh, so he can slam it for twelve. Yeah, he can kill either the siege ship or the light cruiser next turn. Oh, it's yeah. Great. That, that is impressive. I think Card Talk just did a great hunt. Yeah, I thought that about was that weird. Card. Just throw the elk at the boats. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> they got Tom that... Bombadil. They got elks at boats. What's going on over there? I like, mean, the Fury. They're, the they're Fury... refreshing. They might be almost. Looks like Wandering Took is running a little. Okay. I have a complicated combat phase here. Yeah. I mean, the fewer ships you have to deal with, the weirder this thing is. 
Well, yeah. You guys got that AMR powered up real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that, that's why I really wanted Silver Wing. Yeah, that helps. That definitely helps. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, starting with eight, or starting with nine attack turn one helps. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> and you guys picked the stage to start out with two scout, uh, scouting ships out there. Yeah. It's not quite how it works for everybody else. No. I mean, that's that's why the name of the deck is just let Amory deal with them. <laughs> it's nice having these ships with a high engagement cost. Yeah. Yeah, really. I mean, David having a, a 36 threat right now is not super yeah, helpful, no but <laughs> yeah, that, I was going to say, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, and I kind of mismanaged my hand and ended up discarding an Elrond's Council, so that hurt a little bit. Um, Ooh. But Why did you it, discard that? I got way deep in over my head with resources and discard this and discard that and that <laughs> discount and realized at the end of it all that I would, have to re I would have to redo everything to not play that card and I uh, have to slow everyone down. Well, as you can see, we have time to spare. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, if you try to backtrack with that deck, it's hard to figure out what you actually did. Sometimes. Oh, hundred hundred percent. And I have Naralinia Nar as well, which gives me discounts. So I'm, I'm factoring in discounts from that, discounts from yeah to the sea to the sea. Uh, throwing. <laughs> There's a lot. Go yeah. There's a lot oh. going on. I I love playing Noldor. I like I just love playing El Elven decks. So like the, the like my go to is um or my my general go tos are Sylvan decks. So just mm. trying to back backtrack with any of with either the Sylvan or the Noldor decks is just like it sucks. Yeah. Well, and I've already discarded um, two of my Will of the Wests. And so I did actually oh, have to backtrack ooh. a little bit to make sure I reserve the Silver Harp, which you see is now exhausted, which I'm doing kind of mm -hmm. preemptively before the end of the round, which is when I lose all my cards um, to make sure yep. that I can spend that for next turn. What was that your third one in hand right now? Yeah, so I've uh, retained that one card in my hand after quote unquote discarding the rest of my cards because of the Restor's effect. Yeah. You know, you're having a bad day when you've seen all three of your Will of the West before you see your first to the sea to the sea. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it can happen. I mean, it's turn four and you've seen all three of them. That's not great. Yeah. Uh, hey. Chad, just to make sure you guys make enough progress this next round, are you going to play uh, Justice? She'll be down. Yeah. Cool. I was actually thinking of playing it in the refresh phase right, right. now and just ending <laughs> my turn right now. There's not a planning response. Damn it. I was gonna say I thought it was a planning action. <laughs> yeah, I know, planning that's... action, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that is one of my favorite cards. I'm fairly confident it's a planning action. <laughs> Any of you guys follow the Marvel game? Yeah, I do. I haven't played like with Black Widow or Doctor Strange yet, but did, did I, you, I do uh, enjoy that game a lot. Do you see the announcement? The the new which cards. announcement? There's Caleb, like Caleb, Caleb was on uh, FFG Live uh, today, and uh, oh, Ant I didn't, I didn't see that. Ant Man and the Wasp are going to be those folded cards because when they go into giant form, it's a, it's two cards. Oh, okay. It's the the folding cards. Yeah, I've, I've never seen those before, so that's yeah, totally those, new to me. I think it's a they did it with Key Forge, if I remember right. There's, There's like the, the two two cards who, that are actually one. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, but they look really cool. Yeah, they do. And I'm just like, how do you sleeve that? And I'm like, then this video shows you how. I'm like, oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, no, they, they I'm impressed. Like, I like the, the Marvel game, but I, theme, 
theme wise and just mechanic wise, I, I will always like Lord of our this Lord of Rings is always going to be oh, yeah. my number one by far. Like, this is just what I invest a lot of time into, even Great. though I've been playing pretty much nothing but Legion for like the last three or four months. Hmm. I uh, like I said on the podcast, I just I have two buddies that love Marvel, so we're we're all playing it from the ground up, which is great because mm-hmm. everybody I've ever tried to introduce into Lord of the Rings. It's like, you know, here's 500 player cards that you can look at. Yeah. No, thanks. Yep. Just them, please. Before tomorrow. What's that? Memorize them before tomorrow. Please. Oh yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Good luck. And here's the rule book and here's the addendum for bam. Let me drop the swag again. For bam to the rule book. <laughs> of all the... What addendum? Like the shadow addendum or like the actual printed addendum? Here's or... Chris's revealing cards guide. Yeah. One of the best guesses by the rules lawyers. The action window deck that you'll need to fully understand and digest. And the FAQ is like two years old. Yep. I mean, most of the time, as long as everybody just agrees, like, that's how we're going to play it, then, okay, cool, co-op then, game. Yeah, it's totally fine. It still frustrates me to know, Ian, that they haven't bothered to, FAQ, to do the FAQ that they released. I don't know. Yeah, I, it bothers me, too. Yep. Well, and, like, the Legion, at least in the League, like, the Legion community, like, we have a tournament on Saturday, and... Like, stuff is getting, I don't know, like, we're expecting a new rule book, or at least a new rules reference guide to be coming out relatively soon, but it's still between that weird pre-COVID rule set and then whatever the um, supposed new rules reference guide is going to be, so it's just, it's a weird state right now. Oh, wandering toques in the command post. Hello. What's up, Took? Where is he? Hello. I'm back. Ah, okay, great. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. No, kicking back, watching these guys do their thing. Aomer and Aragorn and Mary are killed three ships last turn. That's awesome. Can't complain about that. Yeah, uh, we did make it to stage two. We did not. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, we decided not to. <laughs> we, we, we looked at what was already engaged with us, and we're like, you know, this might be bad. They wimped out. So, oh, Pocket Wraith is going to be. Uh... <laughs> oh, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So, uh, we're not last making it to stage two. Oh, we need to let some of the card talk know. We just advanced and I uh, killed three ships. I heard. That's awesome. That is impressive. Yeah, uh, Tactics Aragorn is fun. <laughs> yep. That's all I've heard. I used him a lot in these sailing quests, but that was before Warrior Sword. Now with that out, jeez. Mm-hmm. Yep. It, it was nice. I was like, okay, so right now Aragorn is seven attack. Um, so just him and Silverwing can kill a ship and drag another ship nice we used the objective uh, ship a couple turns ago I readied Eowyn killed a ship and then readied her with the objective ship so she could kill something else it felt pretty cool Uh, yeah nice I thought Car Talk Dave's group was done. Looks like they're fighting. They don't have nearly as many ships as they should, though. Something's wrong. <laughs> they need more ships over there. Oh, but we haven't been sending any help. And those warships are expensive. Yeah. We did get a. I did get a ship ally this turn. Oh, so did we. Looks like they have two. We got the skirmisher. Oh, you know what? My, my stream is way. I. <laughs> I wasn't live. I wasn't watching them live. I was way back. 
I thought uh, when you did YouTube live and live and you brought it up, it just brought you up to the current moment. But it was like huh. in the middle somewhere. Okay, I see. Holy crap! Do they have a lot of stuff going on? Wow. Already. Salted pork. It's particularly good, my friend. It's particularly good. All right. So what do we got to decide here? Looks like you got some friends. Uh, yeah. First off, are there any uh, guarded tower objectives? Uh, as usual, Tower of the Gaul, Tower of the Heron. None from us. None from us. Okay. You can resolve those. Uh, do you guys want to uh, send any ships around? Uh, the only ship we got, I have. And now, Chad, I have... you can't do it because you're not at the same stage. Oh. Two teams can do it. Even if I could, though, <laughs> I have to do the sailing test this turn. And I think I'm going to need it. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't think we need any help. Uh, we have a Corsair Skirmisher, but I think they also have some. We have two. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm first... guessing you don't need help either. <laughs> uh, the first player at one of those two Stage 2B teams could exhaust a ship. The first player can exhaust a ship objective oh, yeah, oh, yeah, also that. to that, that's engage an enemy yeah. from another team's staging area. Oh right, yeah. Not one that you can't be one that's guarding an objective though. Okay, we've got a scouting ship, and that's it. In the staging area. In our staging area. Okay. We have a light cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good. I think we're, we're good. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um... Who's got the most ship enemies in play? I don't think it's us. Uh, oh, wait, we, we have, have two. We have one. Who has two? We... We do. We have two. We have two you have light three. cruisers and the flagship. Okay, so you're the most. So the flagship stays with you then. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, then that's uh, that's all we need to do at this point. Make sure you resolve those tower guarded effects. Okay. So everyone at stage two does that. Uh, yes, both teams okay. at stage two resolve those effects. All right. All right. Cool. Good luck, everybody. All right. Good luck, everyone. Okay. Good luck. No, he's 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 been a lot of fun to play. Okay. Hey, welcome back. So, how are the other teams doing? Seems to be doing fine. Everyone has ships that they've uh, objectified. <laughs> Turn uh, Nobody grabbed anything. No one's dead yet. Or... Nope. No, nope, looks like everyone's doing good. All right. I need to get some allies in play. Oh, this is interesting. How about some scout ahead? <laughs> that oh, nice. I like it. You guys don't need help. We're just going to stay here. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, what would happen if we did? They were fine. Well, you guys would stay here. I mean, oh man, can... my uh, my the eagles are coming. Revealed five cards of eagles on them, but one is flight of the eagles and one is. Gandalf's or Guahir's debt, so they don't have the eagle trait. But I got all excited. Oh. I'm like, was that a five for five? Oh, they don't have the trait. That sucks. I mean, I drew three eagles, so I'm not going to complain. But other cards, I, but still. Uh, oh, there! Finally, I got a vassal. All right. Now is the time for range top out here. Yep. Clearly. All right. So Radagast is not going to exhaust a quest for that sucker. Um, how do I want to do this? Landerval. I could get Landerval in this turn. I need things to commit to the... I just need bodies. So I think I'm going to go like that. You gonna let your puppy sail? Yep. 
He's the Snoop Sloop. I don't know if that's really creative or just animal cruelty. There's worse things you can do to dogs. Letting them, them be on a out. boat. Yeah, it's all those ropes. You just say, here, grab this rope, and they'll pull it. Grab this rope. Uh, okay, and then I could still use Hiragon to get another Winged Guardian in. So, yeah, that'll, be, that'll work. No, that's not what the poop deck's for, you puppy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where is my traffic from day old? Yeah, that sucks. Uh, it's not rush hour now. It's been economic downturn. Well, COVID. Too. We've been sinking all the ships. <laughs> all right. It's okay. Amber's at twelve attack when he attacks on the station. Yeah. All right. With one, uh, so. uh, Joe Holm. Hi. Do you want me to put the Will of the West into like the victory display, or how does that work? Uh, it's supposed to just go out of play. I put it over here. Okay. Uh, okay, you guys ready for requesting? Yeah. I mean, okay. we'll deal with it, sailing so. first, right? Sailing first. Correct. Um, Do you want me to throw in Dream Chaser? Yes, please. Barrel Chaser. Plus the Hound. Do you think we're going to need this rain? Uh, I can't do here, Gone. Just do Eowyn. We don't need willpower. <laughs> uh, well, that's what I'm asking. Are we... Are we <laughs> stage two or not? Scout ahead? What do we want to do here? I mean, what's up with the other teams? How are they doing? Where are they at? What do they need? I don't know. They're on stage two, and they seemed okay. If they're doing fine, let's just keep doing our own thing here. Scouting. Are we reshuffling the encounter deck? I think we already did. Yeah, we already did. Okay, because if we can manage to pull a warship into the victory display, that sounds fantastic. There's one in there right now. I think we discarded one to a shadow last year. We also turn. would not be able to do that because it's worth victory points. Oh, is it worth victory points? Okay, not. Nah. Yep. Damn. The light right. cruiser, or the heavy cruiser, I don't, I, is still in there. Well, okay, the heavy cruiser. Well, do you want to linger one more round? I'm not opposed to it. All right, so should I exhaust AON or my ship? The AON. Okay. AON. All right, we got four. Plenty of We're sailing for four. Yeah. Okay. One. There it is. Nah. Two. Ah. Three. Oof. Four. Oof. Wow. Hey, look. There that goes. Bye bye. Bye bye, boarding yeah. party. <laughs> I didn't save a resource for Test of Will again. <laughs> right. eh, it's fine. Work no country. Yeah, Questy. All right. Quest away. All right. I'm sending four. All right. I'm going to. Let's see. I can go for six if we need it, with two extra progress on the coast. But I'll I'm pull sending back. two, and the seed ship is going to get blown up. That's amazing. I love it. Kill it. I love it. Thank you. If it's you're doing it for twelve. I'm yeah, I have twelve. God. Did I raise your threat with a ring? Yeah, yeah. I did. That's that's a. Did cool... you consider taking out the light cruiser? That's a cool deck. Yeah, because Aimer hits for eight naturally, nine if it's into the staging area, and then plus three if I exhaust them. So I'm just asking if the you, light cruiser maybe. Well, the light cruiser stops a boarding too, where the sea ship doesn't have any boarding. So it oh, would, it would t stop two more enemies if you wanted to do that. Uh, we could do two enemies, or we could do two archers. I like the two enemies. Archery, who <laughs> I cares? Archery. I got a warden. Oh, yeah. Let's I do the two enemies. And I have then. a Lodger's Caregiver now. I have a paunchy guy that can take some damage. I just... Yeah, let's do the two enemies. Joe, if you could find the siege ship instead. Sorry. <laughs> you can tell it's sorry yourself. Do we want to sorry. ready anybody before... Uh... Uh, <laughs> we aren't able to if we killed the cruiser instead of... Oh, the cruiser. okay. That's so, fine then. Yep. yep. That's the difference. Okay. All right. Everybody questing how much? I have six plus two progress here if we need the six. From... I got two. I got four. That's it. Ten. So you're placing two progress there? Where are we Maybe. going? Side quest. Got it. Side quest. Got it. Cool. Totally. I makes sense to me. Okay. All right. Here we go. What's our total willpower then? What? Our total willpower is eight. 
22 20 yeah 22 seems good oh yeah yeah here we go oh, oh no oh there it is when revealed all right that's okay i get one more willpower draw pile who, who gets a willpower is there a not tower objective we can pull to put on it <laughs> no they're all towers they're all okay the one that's not tower is the one you start out with, the air lane. Super. There are two in the draw pile and one in the discard pile. Which one's in the discard? Let me see. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Where did it go? That's the wrong one. I vote we do the seaward tower. It's in the discard, so we have a higher chance of getting more of them out of the draw deck. Sounds good to me. Sure. It's that two additional sailing. Uh, splice, uh, yeah. are we winning? Yeah, we're doing fine. The other teams are doing good. We're doing good. Okay. Seaward Tower. Yep. Works for me. That was card one. Here's card two. Okie dokie. Okay. Now let's see. That's fine. Close to Von Floss. Okay. Of course, here's Skirmisher. Hey, okay. another That's ship fine. we could get. Might be time for the Noldor deck to take one. Oh, yeah. I think I'm about ready now. Uh, they got 17. We. Did it, but barely. What did you do, like 22 or something like yep. that? We made it. Barely. Okay. Scout ahead. Look at that means cars. you can uh, adjust our shadow effects for us. Mm -hmm. That's right. Eight cards. All right, let's bring them out here. Oh, yeah, that's right. More with four players. Oh, okay. Suddenly, the staging area looks nasty. Let's put the yeah. tower in the victory display. Okay, what do we not want to see ever again? Yep. I wish one of those treacheries that was really nasty. Came yeah, out. I know. I'm not Same. seeing the cards I was really excited to get rid of. Battle Hard isn't great. It's not the end of the world, but it's really not great. It can wreck you. Yeah. Yeah, if you get one enemy the each run. and then that one happens, it's yeah. bad news. I mean, based uh, on the cards we're looking at, that's the one we got to get rid of. Yeah, that's Deep what I'm thinking, too. Why is this uh, seed ship targeted? I don't think I did that. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it must have been targeted Dang. last time. No, no, no. How do I untarget? Okay, yeah. All right, battle hardened, yeah. Joe. Battle hardened? P P yep. P P. <laughs> Splice said he put some uh, sleeping sentries in our encounter deck. Oh, good. Thanks, Splice. <laughs> Yeah. All right. How do you guys want these ordered? We want the Tower of Huron to come out in questing, right? Oh wait, no. We can we yep. can uh, plan our sailing test. Or we could put a location on that oh, tower. Oh right, the sailing test. Okay. So how many enemies will we have? Let's figure that out first. Uh, at one, least. Two... We're just gonna get one, I think, because we can't. Well, if we don't bring out the siege ship we're going to have three shadow cards if we take the corsair skirmisher which brings one with it yep and i already have a guy engaged with me so that's three shadow cards yeah okay so we can go ship ship for shadows the two uh scouting ships actually all yep. three ships could be the shadows sure mm -hmm. yeah okay. let's do that okay joe those are our three shadows and then we can make the next card a uh, steering wheel. So it's going to be the coast. Or the Raiders Assault. It's Yeah, the Raiders well, Assault. Well, actually do the Raiders Assault. I'd oh, rather I, not I, deal with that. I missed, I missed that when I had a wheel. Yep, do that. Yep, let's do that. So then and you only then have do... to commit one character to the quest, to the yep. sailing quest. <laughs> yep. So then, then let's do the tower. To attach to the coast. That'd be nice. Uh, yes. Or do we do the fog thing? I guess it doesn't matter. Well, let's see. If we advance the stage next turn, we can Great. travel to the fog bank. That would be interesting. And then I this, like that. All the ships lot. we reveal and everything. So go tower, yeah. fog bank, coast, please. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Perfect. Excellent job, yeah. Joe. Okay. Perfect. Excellent job. Let's count ahead. Two unknown cards coming, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, and then. I mean, we're travel? playing four player, so. Yeah. All right. Happens. Travel. 
Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Probably this. Um, Darlet C, maybe? Sure. Oh, I'm not going to have these maps. Who's engaging yeah. Skirmisher? Uh, uh, no, I can. No door deck. Yep. I can defend for you. Uh, nobody's okay. engaging the seed ship? Correct. I think we yes. just let it sit out there, yeah. Yep. That'll screw right. up all Here's our stuff if we do. Here's your boarding. Hey, there he is. Uh, okay. You've got three shadow effects that you know what they are. They're nothing, so I'm just going to go ahead and yep. delete them. Okay. And I'm going to put these uh, cards up here for next round. Okay. Okay. I will cool. have defended with Radagast against my guy. Yep. Um, I do have a Sentinel up as well with the Ro Redwater Sentry. If that oh, would be helpful for killing people. I also have Narya. That helps as so well. We have Crusher. plenty of options. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you got a free Sentinel defense for me, I'll take uh, it. Yeah, I, I do. No complaints. There is two I do. archery. Oh, right. Uh, I'll take okay. one on the puppy. One on the punch. I'll take uh, That's it. one on... We got oh, okay. 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 I got my Sentinel ship just sitting here doing nothing as well. Yeah. Okay. So everything has effectively Our been... Yep. Okay. Or... Okay. 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 So that defends everything. Yep. And attack Pretty back. Much. All right. My guy's dead. Uh, let's see. Five to kill this guy. Ten to kill this ship. Um, I, I can give you four range to kill this ship. I can, uh, and I can give you three. Okay. So that's we only need three more to kill the ship. Wait, so... Chad, your ship doesn't have range. My eagle does. Your eagle does. Cool. Never mind. Uh, okay. It's gonna drop some turds on it. So if I do this, bomb. then with your guys seven and this additional three attack, this ship is killed, and yep. discard allies controls the total at least three power to take control of it. That's probably gonna be worth it. Oh yeah. Uh, hmm. Hard choices, but you got options. I do have options. Yeah. I'm actually thinking of getting rid of Gildor. He's got, already got two damage on him. Yeah, yeah. We'll see him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he yeah, did, he I did. think that's probably worth he it. He did his work. He did. That's a good trade. So, upgrade. bye bye. It's an upgrade. Gildor. Yeah. Ship, I will take control. Oh, sweet. And then uh, it takes five to kill this guy. So, two, four, six. He's he's dead. Nice. Okay. And we still have options. And that is an empty board state. Actually, we're still killing him, but I will instead do... I don't know if this will make a difference. Naria. I was trying to see if I could have three characters left over to get rid of this last mm -hmm. taking on water. Uh, no, I think I'm short one character. Really? To exhaust three characters. You have two ships? Did you see both of these Guardians of Rivendell? After they attacked, so they're technically ready. I'm confusing myself. Um, who did I just send in to kill this guy? I think I sent in Kyrdan. There's two guardians, and you right. ready them. But Checkpoint no, I, I didn't ready them. I was just thinking about it. I think. Yeah, I think I'm short one character. But don't you have your character? Oh, the sh wait, the ship. The ship is a character. Yeah, I was right? gonna say you have your character. You have your uh, one your ship. What is going on? You have to explain how the ship is going to uh, help this one not take on water, though. Is it sending buckets over? What's going on? Uh, they have a repair, they have a repair kit. They put some guys in a rowboat. I rowed over there. Cannot exhaust the ship because it's considered an encounter card, not a player card. So right. we will consider it as being exhausted. Right. And then Joe, we will remove taking on water. Your okay. ship never took any water. That's what I'm pressing. That's right. <laughs> Oh, I guess I actually control that card. Do we? No, I don't. Okay. I and it. then I will discard a card from hand to heal up one damage from the Guardian of Rivendell. Nice. Oh, I forgot to do Hirgon's thing. Whoops. You did. <laughs> I noticed that. All right. I'm like, I shouldn't have resources. <laughs> Except for the one on Ratty to pay for uh, Warden next turn. All right, cool. Good job, everybody. 
I think the best part about Scout Ahead is knowing how much sailing we have to do. Sure, nice. <laughs> yeah, that works very easily. Uh, and the rest, most of what we'll be drawing. I noticed, uh, I think Card Talks, they're running Shadow of the Pass, which is fantastic for sailing tests. Mm. Pretty mad in. Yeah, I definitely think it's time for us to move on. Yeah, I think it was that time a couple rounds ago, but... Meanwhile, Pippin yeah. is just rolling in the dough. Nice. Yeah. All right, my inability to eat dinner tonight is starting to really uh, weigh on you me. You're fading. I'm fading. Eat some Pop-Tarts. I bought a bag of grapes for my dinner. It's not very protein -y. All my food is crunchy. That's what the mute button's for. <laughs> See, what you need is just some homemade limbus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It's I'm very I'm letting John know I haven't Eagles of the North to ship yet. I haven't even got one in the deck yet. <laughs> <laughs> we also haven't seen any warships yet either. I mean, we have this is some shadow cards. Green yeah. shadow cards, great. Totally fine with them being shadow cards. <laughs> Justice shall be done is kind of a funny card. Like if you're tired and didn't want to play anymore <laughs> you just have it in your deck you're like i'm done Whoa. i'm done I'll, I'll, saying, I'll, i hope you this last us. turn you know but then i gotta get my kids to bed or whatever but it would be like instead of just saying i'm done that could, that'd be the way to say you're packing up your game because you're I'll you like it. <laughs> at least you go out with a bang joe how do we win well you have to get past stage two Oh, I see. And you got to get past stage one to get to stage two, so then you can find out how you win. That's how numbers work. We like yeah. stage one. We'll take your uh, <laughs> stage has been guys, treating us uh, nice. Yeah. Hope the other teams aren't bored waiting for you guys. Well, what stage are they at? <laughs> They're both at stage two. They do that. I'm waiting for you guys. <laughs> you can see what the move on effect on stage two is. We shared that earlier. Oh, yeah. 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 It says when all teams are at stage two. Dot dot dot. We're just waiting for you guys. Well, I just didn't want to have to deal with the uh what is it, the stage two end around checklist? That just doesn't seem fun. <laughs> Dealing True. damage to ships. Uh, yeah, so cards. what you guys got to do to move on is you have to get to stage two, and then all teams have to have control of all objectives. Okay. Once that's done, at the end of the round, then everybody moves on to stage three. Okay. So you just got to stop taking your sweet time and get somewhere. We were scouting around. Yeah, yeah I could tell. What's behind that wave? What's behind that white <laughs> cap? What's behind that seagull? You, you guys uh, got close enough to see stage 2A and said... No, nope. really just one of Chad's eagles. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not one of the important ones. Yet. Oh my gosh, you guys. The intro for the episode we recorded last night, the guy had his nine year old son making eagle noises and he read a card from <laughs> Journey to Rosgabel. It is so dang funny. It is the best. <laughs> I love that that's turning into a thing where people are trying to top each other now. Oh, that, 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 that thing is just. <laughs> taken on a fantastic life of its own that I'm loving. Yeah, we a few of us recently played the nightmare version of Journey Roscoville and <laughs> I mean most of the journey is fine and f and even fun, but the ending and how they spring it on you if you've never played it before is awful. Oh. It's like, oh, and you lose the game if you didn't do this thing we didn't even tell you about. Yep. Surprise. Surprise. Ah!
Chad, how was the uh, custom quest earlier today? I didn't get to see it. I'm looking forward to watching it later on. Well, it, it's Chris's quest, and it's about uh, the war going on in around Erebor when the Battle of Plenier Fields is going on because there was wars going to the on, to the north. And mm -hmm. so you have four stages, and each one is supposed to represent a different part of Erebor, and you set them out um, right to left. And basically the mechanics of the quest make it so the location on the far right is going to start taking more damage than the rest of the low, the stages. And you're just trying to last eight rounds before Erebor falls, and it's the fourth stage. And okay. you kind of just realize, you know, at, at like turn three, you're like, okay, well, the eastern defenses are gone. Like, we can't hold that anymore. Right. But you have to decide which stage you're going to go to at the beginning of the round. And you only can interact with players at your stage. Oh, so everyone's so, a different stage? Yeah, so you can be like, well, let's all just go to this stage and we'll make sure there's no enemies and we'll, you know, we'll try to keep that stage as clear as possible. And then you can actually interact with each other and play cards on each other and stuff. So it makes for a pretty Does it cool. Play four player? No, no. Actually, solo you get um, these objective allies, these big um, guards, like battalion type things, and they can go to other quests and help. So you okay. can our stages. I mean, so you can kind of send them out as your armies to help keep the other stages as clear as possible. It's really well done. It's a Chris. I mean, it's Chris. So of course, is there a printable version of that somewhere? I don't think so. Okay, because I would. Go to an uh, online print shop and print out my own version of that if there was. He, he picked amazing art. I mean, everything is great about it. But it is one of those quests I really think you'd need someone who played it before to to kind of walk you through the first game. It, there's or a just lot. watch, the, watch yeah, the video. Watch the video. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, so once once we're all done playing this, uh, we, haven't, we haven't found a place to put all the quest cards yet, but there should be somewhere where we can put all this where if people want to print it, uh, they can go and do that and actually have, have physical copies of these cards. Cool. And there won't be that many of them. Oh, where's the other stream at? It looks like either other stream is playing currently. What's that? Yeah, they're still in combat. It doesn't look like it. Well, because Wandering Two is done with their stuff it just depends on um everyone is exhausted at card talk so i hope they're done with the round oh okay yeah i don't know what they're doing then looks like thranduil just brought in a gladrium weaver mm -hmm. or a handmaiden or something they always forget which is which i'm not watching other streams so i'm not gonna see them Wow, they got Legolas is super powered up. Is that hero or ally? Hero. Oh, good. One, two, three, four. Oh, is that the, the mono oh, wow. tactics three hunters deck? Yeah. Grant loves his Grimbayorn. <laughs> yeah. I mean Grimbayorn is good. Yeah. And that uh, Mono Lore Hobbit deck is something else. <laughs> yeah, that card, that, that deck pumps out the cards. Because you get those leaf brooches on there, so you're not paying for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, we got to see that one in action last time. All right, so... I don't think any of them are going to need our ships. Oh, we're not at the same stage anyway. So I, I, I mean, I have nothing to do when I go over there except tell them we have one guarded seaward tower. Yep. What's that going to do to us, Joe? We might as well decide now. You probably have to explain to them uh, why you're not moving on to stage two yet. But I ain't explaining <laughs> jack shit. Because <laughs> we're trying to have fun. Oh. <laughs> uh, which one do we have? The seaward. Okay, so that is going to make the first player exhaust a character at each stage that's there. Is 
Does he have to exhaust his own? Uh, the first player at every stage two team will have to exhaust a character because we have a guarded uh -huh. seaward tower. The the theme on that was was intended to be that these are. Uh, oh, we're done. Okay, happened again. Okay, figure out your own theme. Ha. Hi. Hi. Uh, we're still on stage one. Wow. How are you still on stage one? Because uh, one lazy. of our one of our guys drew a scout ahead, so we're like, well, we got to do it. So we're going through this time. All right. Go on stage one. Uh, we have a guarded seaward tower now. Oh, okay. We have nothing guarded. Nothing guarded for us. We have two ships. We have nothing guarded. We have two ships. We have no ships. Who's got no ships? Uh, that's uh, the Wandering Two team. Okay, has no got ships. It. Uh, are there any ship objectives in the staging area that uh, you guys want to get rid of? At two B. Uh, no, ship objectives. Uh, ship enemies. Oh. Uh, I, uh, I see. Good. You've got a warship there. Yeah. I mean, if you're fine, then that's fine. But if you want, I can take that warship. We could also send a skirmisher your way. We're doing yeah. very well. Uh, so if that warship were to switch teams, I think it would be you guys would still keep the flagship because um, you would have even numbers of ships at that point, one to one. Um, but that flagship still needs to go back to the staging area. So what's the call? Uh, well, it's technically your call because uh, I, I didn't say that they can negate it. If you So the first player may exhaust a ship objective they control to engage an enemy ship in another team's staging area that is not guarding an objective. This is, uh, if they leave it up in the staging area, it's fair game. So if you want it, you can take it. Okay. Uh yeah, uh, I'm going to do it. I will take the warship. Hey. All right. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. And it gets engaged with you, so there you go. Okay, so we take it from their deck. Uh, so you, you would actually at this point do Control A and add a new one. Okay. And then the one that's in the uh, staging area was just get, set it aside, and then whenever it gets killed, you can move it to victory display. Yep. Got it. All right, okay. I swear, we're moving on this time. Here we go. <laughs> oh, okay. God. I don't believe him, but we'll find out. Joe keeps <laughs> Joe oh, Joe and, keeps telling uh, us to wait. You guys should wait. You guys should wait. That's what he keeps telling us. Uh, uh, do Do you guys want the skirmisher? I guess that's also our choice. But yeah, well, it looks uh, like you're fighting uh, the flagship, so I guess that would help. Yes, we are. We are. We are probably one turn away from killing the flagship. Okay. <laughs> So by the time the skirmisher readies, you won't, there won't be a flagship. Sounds good. Uh, remember, there's a what max the of three, three ship objectives per team, or per player. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we couldn't give... We could, Since you've already got two, we couldn't give another one to the same player. Not the same player. To kill the flagship. Right. Yeah, okay. So I guess we'll, we'll keep the skirmisher then. Okay. okay. All right. Good luck, guys. Next right. round, maybe. Bye bye. See you next. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy thing. They're really happy with us. <laughs> <laughs> How can you guys still be on stage one? I blame Joe. <laughs> Joe Holmes. See you later, guys. Good luck. See ya. Thanks. Oh, bye. Yeah, we'll be there soon. Okay. All right. Looks round? like the Aristor deck and. Joe. Oh, no, Joe did his. Just the air store deck needs to. Yeah, just the air store. There we go. Okay. There we go. Traffic from Dale. Come on, come on. <laughs> ah! Let's 
still haven't drawn it. Come on. Oh, I'm happy to see this. Well, this should be a tough round for you guys. I wonder what you'll do. I am happy to see this. All right. Warden coming in. There's my traffic from video. Yay. All right, Warden will heal um, Bard. And. I got three healing coming. Thank you. Actually. And uh, Aowen. I know what I could do here. Well, How did Aowen get damaged? I took archery. Got it. Well, we have a sponge now. Gandalf gets us. She was sticking her head over the side of the ship and. Got clipped. I'm gonna get oh, apparently the send of Thorindor is gonna come in after. Uh, no, actually, I could do it right now. Is that gonna help uh, Aomir kill something, or can't we kill anything because they're guarding stuff? Um, well, kill if... the siege ship because it's guarding the one that's guarding is Airling, and that's not a tower objective. Oh, the tower objectives are immune to player card effects. Yeah, and cannot leave the staging area. I just yeah. The immune to player card effects is the thing that actually matters to me. Um, yeah, Amir can still one-shot the siege ship oh. right now. Okay, so my descendant isn't really as important. Um, no. I think... I might not worry about Kyrgon's ability this round. Well, no, I could get in Landervol if I did. Yeah, I'll, I'll get in Landervol. What the heck? That's fun. Uh, do you want to take one damage off Bards and a Brand? Sure. Thank off you. from the Amladris Caregiver. I haven't drawn any of my events that let me do the fun things with the eagles. Yeah, and I can't find a elven light to save my life. Well, you had one, or you shuffled, didn't you? Yeah, I reshuffled. You always gotta keep one of those in your hand when you do that reshuffle. Apparently. Huh. I never realized that Answer Slow Armor could actually be used on Red Redwater Centuries. He has eight hit points now. <laughs> oh, man. He has six defense, eight hit points. Oof. I was going to say, my, my Redwater Centuries at six hit points right now and five defense. But your guy, your guy is better than mine right now. That's so cool. Oh, Redwater Century Party. Mm. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Ready for sailing? Yeah, uh, I'm good when you guys are good. Yep, let's do it. So what? Send we need one character. One character. Oh man, how many should you send in here? <laughs> Just oh, one? No. You're crazy. <laughs> um, right. will you please blow up the siege ship for me? Okay. I killed, and we've sailed successfully with the Raiders' assault. It was uh, long Lake Trader. Alright, I'll send six. <laughs> I have fifteen. <laughs> One. Just go to the public chat. Yeah, I doubt it. I'm not even gonna explain it. Just go to the public. Are they insulting us? No, just okay. just go look at it. <laughs> My daughter thinks the quest needs a baby shark encounter card. Nice. <laughs> yep. That's great. So you missed out. <laughs> uh, yeah, we missed out on that one. I... <laughs> well, there's there's even a shark in one of the nightmare experiences. Yeah, there so. is. <laughs> Don't get me started on the underwater sea trolls. <laughs> That's your favorite card. Oh my goodness. Wait, Any what? Assistance? Yes, one of the nightmare packs is underwater sea trolls. It just breaks the immersion for me. That's actually a thing? Oh, yes. I, wow. Okay. I, 
it just I sigh every time I think about it. I was not aware that that was a thing. Yep, okay. look it up. All right, guys, last thing. Yeah. I, have, I have 14 plus one progress. I have 10 without breaking a sweat. Six. I'm giving two because I'm going to hold Gandalf back because I'm assuming we're questing on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll hold back two more. I'll just do 12 with zero progress. Well, we know at least half of what we're drawing, right? Right. We have plenty of power. Yeah. No, we're I assume we quest on and I'm getting locked. Time to go. So. so technically, there's no progress on here. I took the, the back. Okay, so that's two cards there. The yep. Tower of the Heron gets guarded by the Fog Bank and Coast of Onfloss, and two mm -hmm. more cards. Card number three. Wow. Scarlet Sea. Card number four is hey, Tower hey, of the Dull. Guarded mm. by Battle Hardened, which oh. is going to surge. Does the surge guard it? Nope. That was lucky. Not, yes, in its own way, but not directly. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be a seed ship here. All right. I think we cleared it, guys. Yeah. I would certainly hope so. All of a sudden, we have locations. There's 19 out there. What'd you guys do? A billion more. Uh, <laughs> there's more than 19 out there. That's what I counted. Uh, did you count count the heavy cruiser? Yeah. Oh. Six. No, they're at 19. 19. 19. All right. So what'd you yeah. expect? Never mind. 20. What did we say? 30. 30. Yeah. yeah. All right. A lot. Then moving on. Woohoo. Okay. So that is the how about saving it? stage 2A. Corsair fleet seems to be attacking multiple key locations simultaneously. To stop the attack, you must defend Dal Amroth from the Corsair ships. Or that's already happened, and you guys are just showing up to, to cheer and celebrate with the rest of the team. Ooh, to get party! <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a ship enemy and add it to the staging area. Two ship enemies instead if there are three or more players in the game. Shuffle the encounter deck. For each unguarded objective in the staging area, attach a non-unique ship enemy in the staging area to that object objective, guarding it. So, technically, we would know what this one is first. Or we would know the wind revealed effect first, right? For what? And, uh, the quet, the wind revealed effect. I'm mostly bringing it up because of Aeroline. Uh, oh, yeah. to ready a hero. Yeah, I I, I want to be able to use it before it gets captured. I'd like, say ready up Aomir. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking too. Do it. Because I can defend with somebody and then mm. murder. Oh, we got plenty of defense. There's around. Sentinel now. Okay, so what ships do you want? Uh, I, what was I, that light battle cruiser or something like that? Yeah, the forty-one guys. Yeah, so uh, there's a light cruiser. There's a scouting ship. Those are both in the encounter deck, uh, and then in the discard pile, you've got uh, light cruiser, seed ship, scouting ships. If they're uh, in the encounter deck and don't have wheels, I say we grab them out of the encounter deck. As long as they have yeah. to, yeah, of course, our warship if you want. No, so from the encounter deck, sure. How many cards are in the encounter deck, Joe? Four. Oh, then, yes, oh. it's our shadow. Uh, do you sweet. do we shuffle the discard pile sweet. in? Uh, no, oh, sweet. We're only gonna have two shadows, yeah, that'll be nice. And they're both going to you more than ever. Okay, so these two now you're gonna pick what's gonna guard what. I don't. Okay. Whatever. I First don't have. You guys want to let me pick? I can pick. I mean, yeah, from opinions. Too. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, light probably... cruiser goes to Erling. How about the light uh, scouting ship? You do the light cruiser or the scouting ship. I wouldn't do the siege ship. siege ship. Like that? Sure. Sure. Right. That, yeah, that's fine. Okay. 2B. Sailing. Raider flagship gains force at the beginning of the quest phase. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a ship enemy is discarded. Add that ship to the staging area. You guys don't have the Raider flagship, so that's mm -hmm. not relevant to you at the moment. Forced at the end of the round, all teams at this stage must resolve the 2B checklist. After resolving the checklist, if all teams are on stage 2B, which now you all are, 
and all objectives are in all play areas are controlled by the players. All teams move on to stage three. Okay. The team with the fewest enemy ships and play moves on to three A. The others move to stage three C. Okay. We're going to fog bank. Well, we need to. Yeah, we've got a ton of attacking potential. Yeah, because so, we also need to actually grab the objectives yeah. too. And I've got Naria, so I can ready up defenders for even more defense. Well, if we uh, engaged yeah. all the ships, we'd have boarding one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. That's five. eight defenses. Well, then maybe we engage well, some ship. of them. No, I'm saying like if we go to Fog Bank, yeah. then the ships don't attack, but we could kill all the boarding guys. The one thing to be careful of in Fog Bank is if you engage a bunch of ships and then more ships pop out next turn and we engage them, then you have two ships at once and then you start to take some heavy damage on your oh, ship. Right, because they can't be attacked either. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what if we went to the Belfalus Islet and put one of these ships, the seed ship, out of play? Yeah. Just oh, that's a great idea. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. I, li I like that plan because then we also idea. don't have to deal with the two archery. Yep. Great idea. And I guess this forced effect could trigger again next turn, but whatever. All right, yeah. give me a ship. Which one? Uh, I, I don't. I don't have a preference. There's lots of Sentinel on the board. Maybe a, uh, a boarding two does not go to me since I have. Oh, we're all drawing a card. We're all drawing a card. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mostly because I don't want to lose the resources. Yeah, no, it makes sense. So. Everyone draw a card. Hey, there's my spear. Finally. All right, who wants what? I think I'm okay with taking the heavy cruiser. Do it. No argument there. All right, give me... Uh, I'll take the scouting ship. Okay. I can take the cruiser unless Aomer wants to eat it. But I have... I only have one Sentinel, but I have a lot of characters up. I'm happy to take um, it. It seems a shame to waste Aomar, but I have a lot of characters, and I have some readying, too, so... I can take the cruiser. It's fine. Is that agreed upon? I want it. Give me it. You want the okay. cruiser? <laughs> That's okay. Fine. Start well, with boarding, boarding yeah, one fine. over here. Scouting ship. Come on, be something that takes money. Uh, engages you. Discard an attachment you control. I hate that guy. You have a second staff, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is that attachment's printed for? What? Zero. <laughs> Counts as a face down attachment. It does. I wonder what the ruling is on that. I, I don't know. I bet you could do it, but I don't know what the cost would be. Nothing. I would assume zero. That's calling an attachment, doesn't it? I honestly it, think you can do it. it. Do it. That's yeah. weird. The eagles. Or do you flip it? It's not. A, it's on the attachment on this side. So. <laughs> I mean, uh, I I think it's a zero. However, the, the wording on Cunning Pirate is an attachment that you control. Do you control yeah. the eagle that was discarded and attached to the eagles of the Misty Mountains? Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. We're doing it. And okay. then people can tell us why we were wrong later. It honestly <laughs> doesn't matter. If I lost the staff, I have another one in hand. So it's not like I'm... Oh. You know what I mean? Like Joe's the first player. I got that wrong. But we'll leave it alone for now. Wait. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It says five, turn five? Yeah, we're on turn five. I don't know why it's... Because so... of uh, the Pippin. Yeah. Ah, that's why. It's one? Two. Two. Okay, and next guy. Umbar Raider. Joke's on you. Uh, I've been wrong. Actually, yeah. And he gets a resource because of the light cruiser. Yep. Uh, heavy cruiser. Mm -hmm. is two. One and two. So that fat guy get, needs a third. Huh, I would have got that guy anyway. Thank you. Dude. Okay. It's going to need a third from the light cruiser, I guess. Huh. What attachment? Uh... What's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Turns out I don't want the light cruiser. You could have it. 
I mean, I got I got Gandalf, so I could have defended it, but I can't now. So. Well, I have I one, just two, three, four, five, six, seven. Florian. I have like eight actions to work with here, so I feel bad not doing anything. All right, now. Shadow effects. Who's got the highest threat? Thirty-seven, forty. So that goes. Oh, why is that face up? I don't know. Oh, secret. I'm gonna put that back there, and I'm gonna shuffle them up, and we'll see what happens. That's good. You hit Control E, I think, Joe. Why is it face up? Are you hitting Control S? I'm not touching. I'm just bringing it out here. Just why? That's why. Yeah, just push Control S on your enemy. And you okay. Oh, that is why. Yeah. I must be getting late, you guys. <laughs> It's only like 920. It's fine. Wait, why is That's the arrow? Shadow effects. Wait, no, 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 no. Why is the arrow in the shadow effect? There is two archery. It's not. It's it guarded. Just, it's not oh, it's not. That's right. The bottom. You're right. Butterfly. Never mind. There's not two archery. Okay. We're good. Does anybody want my sentinel dude? You're probably fine, aren't you, Mr. Mildor? Um, I also have a yeah. as well for five defense. Yep. I can oh, defend yeah. sentinel with my ship as well. If so somebody wants to, is defending this one? Unless somebody wants to sentinel it. I will. So I can attack with it. I will. Six attack, that okay? Yep. All right. Nice. Nothing. Okay. And then I'll defend with my red water sentry against the chubby guy, raid leader. Zero. Hey, Damage. nice. And then. Now math the game. Redwater Sentry over here. Are you bored or are you going to help the Noldor deck? Uh, if you're talking to me, bored, yeah. then I would take the defense. Yeah, I can do it. All right. So, of course, your infiltrator is attacking well, for three. I'm asking about this guy. Oh, okay. He's attacking. For I got a Sentry. He's, he's a Sentinel. He's going to defend something. I just want to try to conserve all the attack I can. So if yep. anybody wants to defend this guy... Yeah, do it. I got Naria, <laughs> so defend for him. Okay. Yeah, he's that right? defended. It's fine. Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's start from the left here. Cunning Pirate. Um, attack of three. Attack of three. Guardian of Rivendell. Okay. Three. Heavy Cruiser, attack of seven. Oh, that's right. I got no shadow cards. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I can defend with my ship for five... That's, so that's that's smart to me. Not probably too bad. Yeah, it's probably that. the best bet. Yeah, so so. Like that, that could be <laughs> two damage. Yep. Uh, all right, infiltrator attack of three. And I guess I, I got a sentinel over here. If you want to leave cards up, uh, I think it actually makes sense for me to do this here because okay. then I can ready them up with Kirdan for the extra yep. attack. No, it makes sense. Okay, scouting ship attack of five. Uh, I will defend with. Um, my wing guardian. Nope, nope. Heavy ship. Oh, sorry. There we go. Um, I could do the silver wing if we really wanted it. I would take three damage. But... Otherwise, you have a ship you as well. You defending with a skirmisher? What the hell, I can't exhaust this guy. Yeah, it's because it's an encounter card. It goes oh. a little differently. So you just there we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was a right. very then, weird turn. <laughs> defending the pirate who apparently only attacks for two because he grabbed an eagle and it caught him. That's right. <laughs> Uh, ready. Not very cunning. Okay, and you guys can attack back. Okay, it's good. Kill raid leader. And then I'm gonna. Ex oh, uh, let me use this guy instead. And then I'll use this guy to ready. Do you need help killing boats? Yeah. Uh, the solar scimitar has a four range. Okay. So whoever needs it out of the three of you. Yeah, I can't quite kill everything with me. I killed this. I okay. still have my Umbar Raider. Although, if you have four range to help me out. It cannot kill a Corsair. It can only kill ship. I can keep these guys ready if you want to help with my ship. And then I can put some damage on the Raider. I destroyed. I killed my ship, but my other guy doesn't take any damage. Okay. okay. I put two damage on this guy, too, if I got the help from the range ship. Okay? Yeah, otherwise, are you able to kill the heavy cruiser, David? No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to have my hands full just with killing the two boarding guys. Okay. So I bump these two. So the quick guardians are each attacking for three, so that's six. This guy, because he has a token on him, actually is going to take seven to kill. Um, yeah. 
So if I do this and this and this, then the cunning pirate is dead. Then it takes five to kill this guy. Two, four. Can the ships attack enemies? Like, they can attack only attack enemies. ships. Mm. But not enemy Corsair people. Then I am short one damage to killing the Corsair infiltrator, which makes me think I should rethink this. Because he takes your money at the beginning of a new round. Yeah, I would probably kill the Corsair, the infiltrator, so before the that, pirate. It just takes five to kill him. Yeah. So I'll three, do arrest three, four, and the, and four five. So he'd be dead. Uh, Joe, do you want to go ahead and delete? Delete. Get rid of Corsair infiltrator. We're definitely doing that. And then I've got two, three, four, five, six. Dover. You're, so you're... that'll be and your three ship. damage. Don't forget about your ship. Yeah, the ship can attack the ship, but... Um, How much off are you on killing the ship? Uh, I'm not doing any damage right now. Yeah, but if you did... Even uh... with the, even with your own ship? Well, this one's already exhausted. This one's only attacking mm -hmm. for four, and he has five defense. No, but if you add in all those allies, you're just exhausted. Um... Okay, that's a lot of backup. Um, that would be leaving the, uh, those guys on the board. So, so what's the advantage of killing? No, 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 no. no. Uh, the allies you just exhausted to damage the cunning pirate. Uh, let's see. Because if we killed the he the heavy cruiser instead of the pirate. I'm trying to remember who I just... 13. You had both Guardians up from Narya, right? Guardians attacked and killed the Infiltrator with Elro here. You can look at the chat thing here. Oh, right. The Infiltrator uh, I... was only five to kill, wasn't he? Yeah. He had a T... I don't remember. I, that one I was 100% certain on, though. Um... Yeah, the infiltrator doesn't boost stats with resources. He just, he just gets extra he's irritating. Cards. Yeah, he gets extra shadow cards. So it takes five, so I don't think you would have needed to use Elra here, since both guardians were they three each from Okay, Guardian? now I'm just confused. <laughs> no door numbers. Yeah. Because you could use It looks like you had exhausted Aristor, the Guardian, and Elro here. To try to kill this pirate. You're looking back at the log. Yeah. It's a lot of readying and unreading. Yeah, I've been flipping know. back and forth. <laughs> um, sorry, my brain's mush. Um, Just do what you're gonna do. So this guy and arrestor for five could kill the Corsair infiltrator if we're looking yep. at that right. Okay, so that's done. Now see if you can kill your ship. So all four fit the silver wings help to help you kill that ship. So pretend I didn't take that. So this would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's F eight. We'll rotate it. So you yeah. have ten with that and you have the silver wings for four. Which gives an addition. So that's fourteen. Four. And you get the heavy cruiser. That yeah. seems good. That should okay. do it. Yeah, I think that's a little yeah. bit... As much as I want to kill the Umbar Raider in front of the Dale deck, I think getting rid of the Corsair ship... Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. Probably more helpful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, another Corsairs are still up there and undamaged? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now, you guys do have control of a couple towers now. Yep. Um. Oh, yeah, we do. Um, because so with that, the Sea Ward Tower is not going to help us right now. It will 
Sure. It will next turn, but right, it, right now it doesn't help us right now. Tower of the Gull also does not help us because just the way that the attack values were spread out. Yep. But Airlong could help us um, at least put... I think you guys already used Airlong this round. We did. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because we used this to ready a armor, so yep. you are correct. Yep. Did you use Tower of the Gull to just drop two damage on an enemy? If there was one in the round, you could. It has to be a ship. If it I was, forget. yeah. If there were ship, it's got to be... Oh, a ship enemy. Ship. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And the way that the math worked out with your ship, it we still needed to actually use the, mm -hmm. the solar scimitar to actually kill it, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would be, would have been great. Okay, but... so you guys still have the Tower of the Heron guarded, uh, yeah. and the whole group will not be able to move on until you clear that up. Wait, wait oh, what? Oh, no, what? we have... No, 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 no. We still have to... no. All three of them are unguarded right now. How about this? Oh, yep, got it. I see it now. Oh. Yep, you're correct. Yep. Yep. There's a total of four in the game, and you've got three of them. And once all of them are under your control, or all the ones that are in play, then for all the teams, and you can move on. Yep. Got it. So oh, that was a choice you guys made earlier to go to the fog bank or not. Um, yeah. If you have a way to explore that faster this next round, it would move the game along but yeah i got nothing yeah i got a room by, by not going there you were able to kill off more of the other ones but which i think is probably better but it's just gonna take you a little longer to get through it that's you know we aren't afraid of a little longer at this point right we're slowly getting there it's fine they'll deal with it just the 11 From Soul of the Fork, 11 enemies engaged that they're currently dealing with. Ooh. We're in no rush. I know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Card, card Talk might be, but we're, we're in no rush. Card Talk has a lot going on. What happened to them? I, I'm assuming Corsairs. I'm assuming also that boarding party oh that yeah. could be it yeah Ooh, yeah that yeah i'm also just going to drop gandalf now this is gonna just go away because i have no actions that are relevant in refresh with him so all right i'll be right back <laughs> Have they finished combat? Are they still? Okay, they attack you. Okay. They're just starting their ability to attack them. I see a lot of exhausted Rohan characters. Who's brave enough to play Rohan at sea? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to do seahorses. Ah, we'll play Rohan, period. Oh. I mean, now that you have Horn of the Mark, it helps a lot. Just hoping for another traffic from Dale and I can dump stuff on the board. Yeah. I like the extra card draw, Chad. It's working out well. I would like to see my events, though. Normally, you'd... I've played these kind of decks before where you struggle to find any allies, but that has not been the problem. <laughs> we got two tiny crown guahirs in your hand. Yep. We got Landerval in play, so now all of our heroes are safe. Nice. That's very nice. Oh, good. I can take something undefended. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sli slightly annoyed that I've been forgetting to do Sword of Numenor. Oh, yeah. Because I should have, like, two extra resources. Nobody will 
object if you let on. I mean, they shouldn't have been stolen in any capacity, so. I can just throw them on. So, end of stage 2B, end of the round checklist. Oh, yeah, we have to First actually. First player on each team, that stage now. 2B, must deal X damage. Uh, so, we have a guarded Tower of the Heron. Correct. So the first player on each team at stage two B must discard X cards from their round at from their hand at random. Now the first player token, however, is going to pass on before the end of the round. So who's going to be first player next? Uh, you. So well, I'm kind of going to be losing my cards anyway, so I don't really care. Power of Noldor. Yeah. I mean, yep. I did have an Eladon in my hand, which I was hoping to keep, but whatever. Yeah, but can you just discard it now for your caregiver? <laughs> the I already first time we playtested that. I was uh, playing my reinforcements Gandalf deck, and the card that was randomly discarded was Gandalf. Mm. And that was bad news. I was playing two player where it's much tougher, and all of a sudden, I am I've lost my big gun. Were you the one that made that every turn reinforcement Kandalf deck? Uh, I think there's one made before me, but I've uh, I made one, yeah. It's pretty fun. Uh, I've made actually I've made a couple of them. reinforcements is one of my favorite cards. Yeah, reinforcements is great. There was there was a deck I learned from some sort I think it was who had posted one originally where he did the infinite loop, and then I kind of went in and said I like this. Let me try to make my version of it, and that's the one that people know better than his but uh yeah I, I made one of those i've made a sylvan reinforcements deck that's really fun that's the one that was i'm talking about for this one question for you guys this is a, something i've been thinking about for people what would you say is the deck that uh you would say that you've made is your favorite or the best deck, not necessarily like the best powerful deck, but just the best put together something unique about this deck. Hmm. Faramir Grey Wanderer. I saw that one. It's it's a one player deck through and through, but it's built around the one cost purple attachment. Oh, what is that? Sword of Morthond? Mm hmm. And it's, it's just oh. a lot of fun. Probably my Ring Around the Rosie deck. Yeah. My pet deck is the Noldor deck, although everybody else has made one like it. Yeah. Um, the one I, in at least, but I play a lot is my Sylvan deck. But the one that I've been wanting to play a lot more recently is the, at least the one that you or at least that I showed you the other night, was um, that Children of Elrond 300 deck. That just lets Arwen quest for 12 to 15. <laughs> Once it actually gets going. And then Eladon defending for 8. I don't know what deck I would be most known for, because that's kind of hard to know yourself. In some circumstances, um, I, I think maybe the one I'm most proud of that felt like nobody else had done anything like it was the Mono Lore Eagles. Really strong deck, and it just was a different take on Eagles than anybody else had done to that point. Was that Elrond, Radagast, and something else? or And Aerostar. Okay. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Nice. Dealing with a disconnect. Sorry. Uh, uh oh. Let me save the game state. So, <laughs> where do I do that? Save deck option. What is it? Is it? Save table state. You right click out in the play area. Who disconnected? Uh, so they're dealing with a disconnect, but not sure. Looking at the stream, it's on it's in.
when we were building this thing, we were trying to think about how do we make sure this thing doesn't take too long? <laughs> and, uh, one of the original ideas was instead of having, instead of just saying you have to control all of the uh, objectives, we had said you have to control X number. So I think we started at seven, found out that was way too ridiculous to get to because you couldn't always find them. Uh, and then kept dropping it down to realize, well, you just can never be sure of what actually comes out of the deck. So let's just say whatever is in play, you have to control all of them. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Yeah. It was kind of like, oh, that's what Caleb did. This just makes sense. <laughs> Caleb's smart. We should follow Caleb on this <laughs> moment. Uh, and the other part of it was we didn't want people to dilly-dally on stage one. <clears throat> <laughs> So the idea was we were going to put pressure on one team and put that pressure hard enough that the other teams need to get through stage one and have to come and help. Uh, because I mean, the first when you're playing with two player, I remember the first time I did that where we have the Raider flagship spawning an extra ship every round and I'm over there just going, help, oh, I, how do I get out of this craziness? And so there other players were rushing to get over there and find ways to help me out. And and we, we couldn't really test it four player, but it's clear that at four player, it just doesn't have that urgency that we were hoping to have it there. So I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to think what I can do with that, but. Put a time counter on turn one, on play one, uh, stage yeah. one, just put a time counter. We only were there for three turns. just felt like we were dilly dallying because we put 19 progress down turn one <laughs> yeah yeah a little bit what do you guys think so far it's fun good i like it. it you guys haven't got to even stage two where you can interact with everybody else yet but so most of what you've seen is pretty much the we're same on. as what you're used to <laughs> i was yeah. gonna say we're on stage two now nah, you did do there now yeah Looks like they got their disconnect resolved. Okay, good. That's good. We were pretty excited about the idea of moving ships around and trying to figure out how do we do that well. Yeah, I, I, I like the mechanic that you guys are using. Yeah, and what we settled on, it felt pretty good. Like moving the objective ships, the ones you guys control around, uh, can really make a difference when one team's under the gun. Mm -hmm. Send them a ship, you know, help them out. Here's a, here's a ship over here. Uh, but exhausting it hurts because that's a whole round of valuable ship action right there. Yeah. You guys could also move that ship around amongst your teams. You could put it all in the same player if you wanted to. That would cost a round of the action for it. Flagship. And having Real the enemy ships move around was, was fun, too. As I said, we haven't actually seen that. What was that? Yeah, we haven't actually seen that part yet. No. And I mean, you won't necessarily need to because they're, each team over there is mostly in control of what's going on. Why is your ship upside down, Chad? My ship? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> perusing the rules about the eagles of the Misty Mountains. Uh, okay, command post. Attachment. But it looks like everybody's saying, yeah, you you control those things. Hmm. The weirdest sure thing about those is the poison attach, uh, quest. <laughs> right. All right. I'll be right back. All right, I had I'm some here. technical difficulties with um, 
our, one of our players disconnecting from the game. <laughs> you reminded me to save our games, dude. All right. By God, they've, they've done it. The Raider flagship is no more. Wow. Nice. That's cool. Very cool. I said we would have it killed this turn. <laughs> Great. Well, that'll make this yeah. round a lot easier to handle. Yeah, well, this is going to be epic. All right, we are at secret. stage two. Good. Does anybody have any guarded tower objectives? We have the Huron. Nope. I got a location. Tower of the Heron, hey? Yep. So we we just have some sharks in our area. <laughs> we cleared two, though. So we cleared two. All right, so Tower of the Heron is... Uh, every, each first player uh, discards one random card from their hand. Okay. Anybody need to switch trips around? I think we're going to keep ours. So um, our, our new our new move forward, Joe, is they have to nothing can be guarded, right? Correct. All right. Yeah, we are happy to send ships around because we don't really need them. Well, the good news is no heroes exhaust a quest or sail this turn, and everyone lowers their threat by ten. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. That was pretty so powerful. The, the, would anyone like a Corsair Skirmisher or a Dol Amroth Warship? Uh, I don't okay. think so. I think we're good. No, I think we're good. Okay. Oh. And it looks like no one has ships in the staging area, so we can't take those. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So... Uh, it's just up to us to get this uh, thing unlodged. And by us, I mean them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hey. Right. Well, well, we did. A, we did our part. We cleared the radar flagship. Yeah, you thank did. you. So you didn't need our help at all. <laughs> Why did you call for reinforcements? <laughs> okay, we took one of your ships. <laughs> all right. See you guys. All right. Bye. Welcome back. Guess what we get to do. Uh, lots of stuff. Drop our threat by 10. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, really? They did it. They did nice. it. I also realized I didn't reduce my starting threat by 3 at the beginning of the game, so I'm doing that now, <laughs> too. <laughs> as long as I'm like, well, well, secret I'll, I'll let everybody know that we're supposed to reset. We forgot to... <laughs> Invalidates the game. Big asterisk. So what about end of round checklist things? All it was was our tower. Oh, okay. And oh. Other, other teams are doing their enemies so well. But our tower is going to affect our team too. Yeah. So the first player has to discard one random card. Which, was which, you and... which is me. So yeah. I will go ahead and get rid of that card. Oh, you guys are waiting for me to reset, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and it's literally just discard, discard a card. That's it. That's not horrible. Traffic from Dayo. <gasps> An event. So I'm first player now? Is that what's going on? Uh, no, I am. Yes. Oh, you are. Yeah, Pippin's messing us up. Can we move the first player token? Whoever yeah, is you, first player can control You can take control of it. Or can... okay. okay, let me see here. First player token, take control. I can shuffle in an eagle of the north. But do we even have an encounter deck right now? Uh, we will at the beginning of the quest phase. But if I you can just put it in the encounter deck. Uh, there's no, there's it's all in the discard pile right now. All right, I'll do it at the beginning so of the quest phase. The... 
Yeah, so if you throw it into the encounter deck, then we are guaranteed to pull it. Which means there'll be no enemy to do so on. <laughs> okay, I'll Just shuffle it in after yeah. uh, the quest phase starts. Yeah. Uh, anybody want me to heal anybody? I actually need to heal somebody so I can discard a card. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, who who needs healing? Actually, uh, see, I can't really. I was gonna say, Nasia's down a uh, health right now. Can we can't heal the ships? Can we? No, they're immune to player card effects. Correct. How about the descendant of Geryon? He needs healing, right? Sure. Okay, take it. Thanks. Uh, I think I'm done. I'll play another Loyal Hound. I'm out of attachments. I'm done. Okay. You guys ready for sailing? Uh, I think not. so. Uh, take one more healing on Nausea. Thank you. And take a healing on the Loyal Hound. Okay. That way I can dump my hand, and so the Eregian survivors will be worth more. All right, sailing. Um, What to do, what to do. Do we want to send the Dream Chaser on this one just for numbers? I can do that. And the Amladris caregivers don't really want to be attacking or defending or anything with them, so that brings us up to four. I really, really want to make sure that we don't screw this up, so let's do this. All right, so I'm sending in three characters, and with Dream Chaser, that should bring it up to five. Five? You okay. guys feel okay about that? No yep. one's going to be mad at me if we don't get it? Five is good. Mad, that's good. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. One. Two. Three. There it is. Here we go. Four and five. Hey, board hey board board. That that's, makes it worth it that's... right there. <laughs> <laughs> Exhaust a character to not reveal boarding party. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Questing. Yeah. Uh, please shuffle in an eagle of the north, Joe. There you go. We got 13. Uh, oh, we got one of these guys. Outrider. Okay. Oh, right across the Starlet Sea. Okay. Do we have to make you progress, want... Joe? Does the quest stage have progress on you it? You have mm -hmm. to. Uh, no, there's no progress on it. You just have to control all of the objectives. Okay. I'm sending eight. I'm sending 13. Do we want to throw Gandalf in there, or do we care? Well, does he get anything else? If you put him in a quest phase, you could put him in combat if you want. I mean, combat's fine. I'm holding, AM, I'm holding AMR back, because there's no ship. We have 34 without him. I will hold, I will hold them back. Okay. I'm only giving one. And there's a resource. Um, does anyone want a resource? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Joseph will not get one because well, I can't actually give one. To I him. would love a resource. Cool. Someone, uh, Aowen or Aowen can have it. Great. Thank you. Okay. Cards? Yep. Oh, wait. No, I can't give it to you either because you're after me. Never mind. Sorry. Arrestor or Arwen, do you want a resource? Uh, Arrestor will take it in case I draw a green card. Okay, that works. I also realized, because uh, we dropped our threat because the flagship happened, everyone gets to, all the heroes exhaust. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah quest, the heroes quest for free and don't exhaust for sailing tests. Oh, that's how that works. That's oh. right. Yeah. Yeah, Oops. I realized that. Okay. 
Well, uh, 19 I don't plus think one that on changes my numbers. Yeah. Uh, it increases mine by two. Mine's the same. Same. Okay, well then let's... Here we go. Dog one. Light cruiser. Okay. Again. Meh. Yeah. Taking on water. Uh, I it? guess I can take that again. Okay. Happy to take it too. But yeah, me too. I have. Oh, characters. we've we've all got options, don't we? Somebody I've, take it. I'm fine with taking it. I would. I was gonna say I, w I would prefer not to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, seed ship again. Boo. And yeah. A little Yay! Bit more. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Question Just, is, which one do you want to get rid of? First player gets to choose. Uh, I would get rid of the seed ship. What it about is the boarding going two? To, yeah, I mean, boarding two is not great. I guess the seed ship is going to attach itself to an objective, but we are probably going to be able to kill it. I'd say boarding two. Yeah. That's oh, Eagle just right. carried away three enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. good. All right. Pick it Search. up and move it somewhere else. Who do you want to have it? Coast bronze boss. You should have someone it. needs to grab those eagles. I mean, oh, yeah. Chad, if you want to well, take it, Chad, picks it. So yeah, David, you Chad, can pick you can it. have it. All right, okay. that's so funny. It came right out. <laughs> Got a really good time. That's great. Okay. Uh, well, I didn't. Uh, how much? I don't know how much you guys quested, but we I'm we did it successfully. Yeah, we so, did. It. Yeah, uh, enough. So this oh, is... that seed ship is coming out. <laughs> yeah, we have two seed yeah. ships here. Where do you want to travel? Uh, yeah. Fog Bank. Yeah. Before you travel, these seed ships are going to take over yeah. all these objectives. Yeah. Oh. So we can't attack fine. them. Do we want to travel to the Fog Bank? Oh. No. Oh God, that sucks. Fog Bank sucks. Uh. <laughs> you guys set that up. I might remind you. Well, if we hadn't, we'd sure. have three more ships in front of us. So. Well, going to the fog bank at this point, just we're shooting ourselves in the foot because now yeah. everyone's going to be penalized for all the things that the siege ships are going to be capturing. So we need to not go to the fog bank. That's, I think, the correct decision. No. So it'll take you even longer to get through it. Then. No. You don't have a well, choice. Well, you could... Well, at least the same. It's going to be delayed either way. If you guys uh, don't go to the fog bank this round, then... Uh, Next round, you would have to travel there, and you still would have to wait even an extra round beyond that to get it out. Yeah. So uh, I would not recommend that plan. Well, if we well, take two ships, we're going to have to leave all ships we get next turn. If we go to the Fog Bank, we just can't engage any ships that might come out. It's, you okay. can optionally engage them. You just can't attack them, I think, is what it is. All right. Yeah. But if we don't... if we don't go to the fog bank. Both of these objectives will be still guarded. Mm. So we'll take a, a turn longer, but we'll take the penalty for both. Or so, right. which ones do you want me to guard with the seed ship? Uh, everything but the seaward tower would be my choice. That's yeah. That's I think what I'm going to do. And then you're traveling to the fog bank or no? What do you guys think? Sure. Yeah, let's just go and get it I over with. Yeah, I don't like it, but I think we should. Okay. Then do you want to optionally engage uh, the seed ships or not? Sure. I mean, okay, who's taking it them? just gets them out of the staging area, right? I'll take one. Yeah. Can you kill one with Aomir at the start of the next round? No, a uh, Nautilus fog bank goes away. Can they cannot. They cannot be attacked. Yeah, if they're no. guarding, they're immune. Yeah. So it makes no, not, not even. Them. Yeah. Now we might as well engage them. I think. Yeah, just get them out of there. Okay, who wants one? I'll take one. Okay. Man, yeah. because they can't. They can't attack. They cannot be attacked. Yeah. Just archery. But who's getting the other? Yeah, the artist is fine with taking it. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. First player is David, so Shadow. Does he get shadow. his shadow if he's not attacking? 
Yes. Yep. Okay. So at least it thins the encounter deck, but the shadow doesn't actually go off. I'll take my own archery too. Uh, yep, uh, throw it. No, 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 no. Th throw it on Gandalf. Just let him die. He's not doing anything. He actually can't do that because his archery happens before. The, before no, he he out. paid full cost for Gandalf. No, no. Oh. I paid full cost for him. Just let oh. him die. Okay. You got archery too. You got archery too. Kill Gandalf. Call the day. That's fine. He dies. Okay. Oh no! It's okay. I have another one in my hand. Gandalf. All right. Let's start with David's attacks here. Who's defending the pirate? Guardian of Rivendell, 3v3. Okay, nothing. And then I was going to say, I have, I have a defense. The seed ship doesn't attack. I have an attack, that's right. Uh, okay, over here for the cunning pirate. I can Black. take a defense of five if you guys need it. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Okay, I'll take it. Nothing? Nothing. Cool. And, and it's here. dead. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming you guys are killing all the pirates. Yep. yep, and I can heal two damage somewhere. I don't have any on my side, so if you have a non-ship that has a damage, heal it. I'll pick one on my Guardian of Esgrath, that's okay. And if no one else has any, I'll take the second heal as well. Yeah, there's none, buddy. Yeah. I think you're it. I would did. I'm going to move this over here. Refresh. Stupid uh, fall. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. No, it was everybody else doing. That was a pretty short turn for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a very short round. That's the other thing. We've been. It doesn't feel like it. We stayed long at stage one because our turns are so short. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like one group's already done too. Looks like everybody's done. All right. Cool. Yeah. I mean, our turns are going fairly quickly. Uh, yeah. It also helps that we can just blow up. A ship, or just carry it away. Yep. Yeah. And the enemies with it. Yeah. So they're all That's done. A lot. I assume. I think it depends on what Wandering Tooth is doing. Otherwise, um, Silver yeah. Wings probably going to die. Yeah, there is uh, going. It's, I'll defend my ship. Three I briefly two, got three. disconnected, so go ahead and uh, flip shadow cards if you want while I reconnect. The, uh, Dream Chaser is over there. Yeah, I can defend with it. Well, card talks in the middle of a ton of combat right now. <laughs> They're just starting engagement phase. They've had all the fighting. It sounds like. Yeah. Well, getting an extra ship turn is probably really help with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's rough. If only somebody would have got to help them sooner. No kidding. Jerks. <laughs> <laughs> so is the Raider flagship in our encounter deck? Uh, so it, it was designed to be that the Raider flagship presses the fight wherever it's hardest. So we, we start off with it in uh, in the normal setup here, but I put it over on the side. Uh, you can see it right over here. Yeah. And if we had ever made it to stage two, 
and <laughs> had the most enemies in play, we would have gotten Raider flagship from wherever it was. Got it. So it makes the worst stage even yes. worse. So, which is why it's impressive that they got to it because they always had the most ship enemy ships in play. Okay. Uh, but you also have the option of exhausting a ship to go and take an enemy ship from their staging area. So you can choose to get more and slowly equalize ease their load. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But they were handling it well enough and you guys weren't there that uh, that didn't happen. So they just kept at it and kept picking away at it and uh, got it done. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I see that now in the checklist. Yep. Yeah, because I was, I was wondering how the flagship existed in the other two. Right. So in big, some way, big, isn't it? Yeah. we made stage 2, or, or 1A and 1B, uh, much harder than the stages that you guys uh, started on because they got the flagship right away, they jump into the big battle right away. Right. And the goal was to, okay, can we keep, can we press them hard enough that they need help, uh, but can still survive? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't know what their games look like. I'll be curious to watch it. But then, thematically, you guys have to come in, and once you come in, you are able to offer help in different ways that allows the battle to turn. I am looking forward to everybody making fun of you guys at the end of this. <laughs> that, eh. Making fun of us for winning. I was yeah. going to say, making fun of us for doing the best. Our turns are so easy. <laughs> if everyone was doing as good as us, we, this game would have been done two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We still got to go through stage three, so we'll see what happens with that. Well, we got an old or fleet and Dale Army and Flock of Eagles and Aomer Powered Up. Feels yeah, good. Yeah, you guys a strong spot. Mm -hmm. Except for the stupid fog. <laughs> Fog's not helping right now. At least we're all low enough threat now with that minus 10, but if we get three more ships, we'll have to engage the all next year, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like we'll only have to deal with, at least on our side, Tower of the Gull and Tower of the Her Heron. Because that's all that's guarded right now. Those seed chips are annoying when they come out mm -hmm. at the end of quest stage there. <laughs> My gosh, they have a busy screen over there. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I totally would have had three characters to exhaust to get rid of the taking water. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. There's no reason I would have kept that. Joe, yeah, I'm handing whole... that back to you. What if, what if I don't want it? My ships don't want to take on water. Then you can just put it back in the quest deck. Arc. Okay. <laughs> so we discovered when we were making this that you can totally play this with two different teams. You don't have to have all three teams. Instead of three? Yeah. Oh, interesting. So you basically skip the stage that you guys did. And, that makes and, sense. Yeah, and, and what it mean, means is that there's uh, less help coming, so there's more pressure on the two teams that are there. Uh, and I think watching through this, what actually makes sense to me is that if you're going to play four player, unless you've got, if you've got strong decks, then just play with two teams to be able to handle it. Um, if you're playing two or three player, it's going to be a little harder. Mm -hmm. so maybe you want all three stages, but uh, but it was nice to realize. Oh wait a second, you don't have to have all the different teams. Uh, or like I was encouraging you guys at the beginning, have somebody start off on nightmare mode so that way there's more pressure on some team. The other teams have to help them out in a different way. 
to be understanding. Yeah, because I, no yeah, I noticed in the setup that you guys had, um, like the requirement of having the same number of players at each screen, at mm -hmm. each team. Yeah. The reasoning behind that was uh, primarily having to do with the greater flagship going to the team with the most enemies in play. Yeah, and that makes sense. Yeah, and, and something having to do with stage three. Sure. Which we'll find out right. probably, hopefully next turn. But it's the decisions that the Corsairs are making that how do they make it if the teams aren't even like, okay, well, one team's always going to have more enemies, almost always, because they've got more players in that situation. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you could play that way, but it wasn't really designed with that in mind for a balanced reason. Yeah, they've had so much battle this game. Yeah. Just watching it's this. Seven in his lances in the victory display. <laughs> if one person does it, it's going to be all of them. I mean, Here's one of the not wrong. <laughs> Wait, where did that come from? I just showing you uh, sharing one of the nasty nightmare cards. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm aware. Go away. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I that mean, if sure it's just get damage. To be fair, if it's in the stage area, Amber can still blow it up right now. I, I don't see what the problem is. That's uh, it's no boarding on there. It's fine. Twenty eight engagement cost hits wow. your ship hard. Yeah. You not even have hardly any damage in your ships. What's your I know. We've been careful. We like our ships. <laughs> yeah. Amber just throws a javelin at them and they blow up. <laughs> he hits for 13. That has made your life a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. That's. It was either Amber throws a javelin or we just throw elk at the boats. It was one of the two. This is cheaper. Yeah, you know, there's another location that makes you put archery on ships. A lot more pressure on your ships. Yeah. Yeah, that can hurt. I think I played this one nightmare with Ryan on YouTube. Oh, yeah? I think I've only played this quest like twice. And one of them was at the con last year. Some of the other sailing cards I was thinking of are actually in flight of the Stormcaller. That has some of the nastiest nightmare cards. Yeah, that one's yeah, that one's very nasty. I uh, we had to Yeah, I've lost that a lot. Yeah, same. Uh question for you guys while we're all just hanging out here um we've got ideas for several other epic multiplayer quests and other quests we can do with this um but while i got you guys here we're hanging out here what quest would you want to see turned into epic multiplayer pelinor fields okay that one i would be, would be awesome but i have no idea where to even start because it already feels like yeah, epic I... multiplayer yeah, that's the problem with that one. But you have a boss, you can move around, you have important locations. It has the makings of it. Yeah. I mean, gun to bed or fire in the night would be cool. We've had some talks about fire in the night. I haven't looked at gun to bed, but gun to bed is a big battle one, right? Yeah, because yeah. gun to bed is like almost um, the end of the Robani and stuff. Because mm -hmm. I think you still have to. I don't remember if that's the last one you fight Dagnir. It is. Or if it's the one right before that. Fate of Wilderland might be pretty fun too. It has kind of an epic feel and it has a lot of pressure to move. Yeah, that, uh, that might fulfill yeah, I think what you were that, 
Yeah, I think that's actually probably a better one. What about Treachery of Rodar, where you have to keep switching which uh, side quests a team uses? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Joe, how is Ryan doing? Uh, he's on a... Uh, sabbatical from the game, basically. He was kind of disappointed he didn't get to get on the, on this because they couldn't schedule it. They could play it. I think it threw him into a funk. Did it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I noticed he... I thought I noticed that. I just hoped he was all right. Nothing uh, medical or anything. Australia has also had pretty strict quarantine. So I think he's kind of blue because he's stuck. I tell you what, man, it wears on you. Yeah. But this is just speculation. Sorry, Ryan, if I'm wrong and you're listening back. <laughs> no, I love you and miss you, man. Yeah, we got to play with him for a while. We tried to make a video about a month ago and then Ockham disconnected and it crashed and it turned into 4 a.m. and we bagged it all. It was depressing. We wouldn't have normally scheduled this on a Thursday night, but that was just with the whole Gen Con thing. Other other nights were already filled up for this weekend. Uh, it was just kind of the only one that was really there. Yeah, yeah it's a bummer check. to hear the people couldn't make it because of the time. My kitty is tearing up the furniture. Knock it off! Jumping all over everything, clawing at stuff. Also, I think, I know for me personally, after the extravaganza at uh, Con of the Rings playing so much, I had Ryan and Liam over to my house after that for two days, and we basically played straight again for two days. And that just gave me enough Lord of the Rings for a while, so I've just been taking it a little slow in the last year. Two days wears you out for a year. That's well, it's five days in a row. Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot of Lord of the Rings. It really is. Oh, Lord yeah. of the Rings is awesome, but it is enough. <laughs> well, yeah. for us, we went, did two more days afterwards. That was right. Crazy. It was fun, and we had to take advantage of them being here. But it was good. A bit of Lord of the Rings is great. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a great game. We all love it. Many of us, it's our favorite game. But it is. It's exhausting sometimes. And, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, you sit down with some friends after a work day. Hey, let's see if we can get a game in. And six hours later, and it's midnight, and your eyes are glazed over, and maybe you won, maybe yep. you didn't, and you had an awesome time, but it, <laughs> it is not a short game. It's a heavy game. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've learned when I go over to David's house that we don't, if we don't start too late, it's just not going to Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to start a game at too late and then... Yeah. No, absolutely not. Also, my weekly group has been dead for four months, too. So I know. Yeah, That's... we've we've just been starting to, or at least the my my group has just been starting to figure out how to play again from our own from our own places. It's been difficult, but we just played under the Ash Mountain. Couple yeah, I have one friend who's happy to get together anyway, and then I have one friend who his wife works at a hospital, so they're being extra cautious. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's happened over on their stream, but they've just cleared out enemies all over the place. They've been at it for the last 15 minutes. I know. They better for all this time. Well, it looks like they're refreshing. I keep scrolling my mouse over their cards on their screen. I, expect... I know, do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, head into the command post. All right, we've been having technical difficulties with the sheer number of cards on the table. Oh my gosh. Uh, because of the sheer number of cards on the table. All right, so I think we're going to get everybody in command post for this one. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep.
This is exciting. We're all here. Hello. Move on, man. Go command post. All right. So we've decided that the tide of the battle has turned. Clearly. <laughs> Which is supposed to be the trigger for moving on to stage three, but uh, some teams are just uh, slow at clearing guarded locations. So um, the decision <laughs> here is, is whether to leave them behind or to uh, just go on anyways. And we're choosing to go on anyways. <laughs> just one more turn. Come on. You guys are being silly. Yeah, I don't think we need to stay up till midnight like some people were talking about. So, um, so we're moving on to stage 3A. We're going to uh, just go ahead and do that. This is the best part anyway. So. Great. Yeah. Before everybody is too sleepy to enjoy three. Uh, so the question here, uh, moving on to stage three. Uh, normally there would still be ships in play, but does anybody have any ships left? Yes. No. Nope. Nope. Well, that's right. My team has ships left. Okay, that's good to know. It's the fog back. Yeah, so we, wanted, <laughs> we started that round with uh, one guard location. We ended with three. Good, good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. ships. We'll do that. Yeah. Uh, so... Um, Anyways, so uh, the question now is who's going on to 3A and who's going on to 3C? Uh, the team with the fewest enemy ships in play moves on to 3A. The others move we on have, to 3C. We have none. We have none. We have none. So you guys get to choose who's going to 3A amongst you two. Uh, I'll do it. I volunteer our table. Volunteer is tribute. I will take it. Though I do not know the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which table was that? Winner. I got so many voices. Winner. That that was me. <laughs> yeah. Wandering right. that was, that was the so Wandering Cook's table. table. Okay. All right, here is 3A. Watch how this is a total trap. I was hoping for. What's for the story? All allies. No. All our objectives and team. Is your goal, Amra, objective in another team staging area under their control? Shuffle the discard pile on your counter deck and discard locations until X locations have been discarded, where X is the number of players in the game. You guys are ignoring the flavor text we worked so hard to write. It's a long Lord of the Rings tradition. Man. Reinforcements have turned the tide of the fight. The heat of the battle elsewhere, you see open seas and the opportunity to catch Sahir, but the Corsairs won't let you get away so easily. Give chase. We'll sail ahead. All right, so remove all tower objectives from the game means wherever they are in play, discard pile, draw pile, all the tower ones, but not the one you started with originally. Mm -hmm. uh, but just that one staging area, right? What's that? Just their staging area. Uh, yeah, this is their, they're at 3A, You're, you are not. Um, and then you get to pick uh, one of the teams to get the Dal Amrath objective. So which, so which one do you guys have? You have the beacon? The beacon. Yep. Okay. So uh, pick somebody else to give that to. The COTR stream? Cool. Okay. I'm just, uh, that was a suggestion. <laughs> you know. That's all they need is more things to be guarded on them. Definitely, yeah. Oh, speaking of, we sent COTR a, uh, a warship, a dual Amroth warship. We don't need help. We're doing fine. <laughs> Take the ship. No, no. <laughs> we're not. We're not allowed to buy more ships. We're maxed out. <laughs> and you can't say no. It's our choice. Yeah. <laughs> Eat my ship. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth okay. Exhausted. You can't use it. For okay, so you guys resolve. You get to shuffle up and get a bunch of new locations. While we're doing that, let's reveal three C. The other teams. That is right here. Okay, send me the flavor text that we wrote. I got it. 
the strength of the attack is broken by the courage of your fleet, and the Corsairs begin to flee. In their fight, the Corsairs now turn their full attention to stopping your allies from catching the traitor Sahir. With renewed speed and urgency, you must chase down the fleeing Corsairs, board and sink as many of them as possible, so that the seas are safe for your friends in their pursuit of Sahir to Umbar. Nice all right, job. everybody removes all tower objectives from the game. Normally, okay. this wouldn't happen until you controlled them, but some teams just can't, uh, don't want to delay the whole rest of your. You've clearly won the battle, so. <laughs> do we get to keep the docks of Dal Amra? Yes, you do, because that is not a tower objective. Okay. See where okay. The tower is. Okay. All right, so here is stage 3B. You guys can do the. Uh, locations and it won't really affect what's going on here. Ooh. See? Ooh. You can only oh. one progress on it on the card per turn. <laughs> that third paragraph is awful. You like that? We were we were pretty no. happy with that. Yeah that Sailing. was a real bear. <laughs> kind of the option engaged is Kind of bad. <laughs> oh, we all dropped our threats by ten. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Progress oh, can right. only be placed here if you are on course. If you are off course, each ship enemy gets minus five engagement cost. Each ship enemy in the staging area gets plus two threat, gains archery three, and cannot be optionally engaged. Because basically, <laughs> they're chasing you, and they're trying to catch you, uh, and you don't want to be caught. If the last and player is eliminated at this stage, player, all teams lose. If this stage is defeated, you have outrun the enemy, and the players win. Now go get to here. I like how it's the last player eliminated and not the first. Uh, well, I mean, there's maybe there's still hope if somebody's left. All right, and meanwhile, <laughs> uh, everybody else <laughs> is doing this. Five, five progress. That's... Yeah, that's it. Sailing. That progress can only be placed here if you are on course. Each ship enemy gains boarding two and oh, victory, one, or two victory one and does not make engagement checks. Force. At the end of the round, the ship enemy with the highest threat in the staging area moves to the staging area of the team at stage 3B. Huh. Response, at the end of the round, if there is at least five progress on this stage, the first player may remove all progress from the stage to choose a ship enemy in the staging area of another team at either stage 3 and engage it. So basically, you guys are now chasing down the Corsairs. You're trying to sink as many of them as you can, and the boarding is higher because... Uh, you are boarding them. It's now the cooks fighting. Uh, you know, now the everybody before it was just the boarding party coming for you. Now it's every man for himself. Boarding five for a warship now? That's boarding five for a warship. We did test that in case you're wondering. It yes, is a bear. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> we tested it and it does indeed suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think you need to test that. We just know that. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. That minus 10 threat is now coming to uh, bite us in the butt. Well, it depends. I mean, if, if you guys don't want to... No, it, it, so no, it does. I mean, so wow. I, kind okay. of, I kind of said, oh, we'll, we'll take 3A because I figured it would be harder. And I was like, yeah. I want to kill some more ships. It turns out nope. it's the stage where we're not killing the ships. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Um, all right, so I will say this. I, I did forget about this, but we would have done the end of the round checklist for stage 2B before we did all that. And since one team still has guarded objectives, I'm going to say all the first players have to deal with that. Normally oh, they'd be gone, but geez. let's deal with that. What do you guys okay. got over there? That's so bad. Tower of the Goal. Tower of and the Tower of the Harem. Okay. That's it. So it's two damage and two damage a first player ship and random card. All right, that's it. Quest out and win. Good luck. All right. Yeah. See you soon, guys. Okay. Boarding two is fun. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, so it's Don't have we have two damage. damage amongst ships that we control. Okay, just on your ship. First player ship. So, so if, you had a, if you had an extra ship, like, say, the Don Roll yeah, MR4 yep. ship, 
you could put it on that yep. instead. Yeah. Which they did give to somebody, so if you want it. Who wants the ship? Uh, give it to the AMR deck. So he has another character. Character, yeah. All right, we are removing all of the tower objectives from the game. Is it one side of the deck? Two damage. Um, no, the three tower, no, because the third tower is in the upper left hand. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah. Okay. You do still have the airline if you can get it back. Yep. Okay. And then we're good for the next round, technically. Yep, next round. And your job is basically try to support that team from, to get out of here. Yep. Keep ships from getting on them and sink as many of these guys as you can. Pretty much. But every ship you destroy is gone. Yeah, which makes sense. Yep. Place two progress on one of the coasts of An Anthalos, please. Uh, okay, two progress. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm done. We gotta do sailing. Yep. I'm still buying a few things here. Same. I'm Ten resources there. from Trevor Deo. <laughs> nice. Okay, I think it might be time to bring out Lords of the Eldar. Nice. Seems good. Okay, I am effectively done. I will say I'm a little disappointed you guys decided to engage the seed, seed ships last round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we did. <laughs> Seems like the right thing to do, Joe. Uh, all right, uh, sailing? Give me one second. Uh, sailing, we'll do... So we need we need to be on course. Yep. Yeah. Can we do Dream Chaser? Just to help? Yeah. Um, two. Four enough, or do we want to do five? I'd say go for five. Go just for five. Sure. Yep. We can we should be able to handle all the questing attack and defense yep. just fine. Yep. Five it is. That's the one part of this quest we can't afford to skimp. Yep. Here we go. Five five it is. There's all one. Right, well there it is. Yep. Super. That was the only one out of five. <laughs> hey. Well, you know. Wow. Okay. Well, of course. Yep, that, ha that happens. You guys have been very consistent with that. Yeah, uh, apparently. I'm giving one. So I want to be able to actually have a defender up in case something decides to engage me. Alright, hold on. After I commit characters, I'm... Oops, shit. I'm doing some sneakiness. Okay, so after I commit characters to quests, including Radagast, who didn't have to exhaust, I'm exhausting him with word of command to find flight of the eagles. Ah, 
And I'm going to pull back Manel nice. Door so you can clear that location mm. and shuffle in Good another enough. Eagles of the North. Okay. I got it. I like it. Thanks. Lots of kind of crap I've been waiting to do all game. It's like, come on. I didn't have Manel Door or <laughs> the Manel Door tech. I have 18. Exhausting one character. Nice. <laughs> I have eight. 20. I could do what? more. All right. Ready? Yep. Probably. I one. Yeah! Oh! oh. Wait, did you shuffle it? Did you I actually did shuffle. shuffle it? You can take a look in the counter over there. Oh, sad. <laughs> it just says you looked at it. And then I shuffled it. Didn't it say that? No, I did shuffle it. It doesn't, it doesn't say you shuffled it. It doesn't say you shuffled I, it. I did. Shuffled no, it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't say so. It doesn't say. I, I know I shuffled it because it wasn't in the top one I, when I looked at it. Well, you shuffle it, and then I keep fiddling around with my guardians. Then you look at it, and then you stop looking at it. Yep. And then you didn't shuffle. I did too shuffle. No, it's not there. <laughs> Good enough. That seems false. Well, <laughs> deal with it. I did. <laughs> Where is it. the encounter deck, Joe? I don't even see it when I go on the... Oh, there uh, it is. Duh. Never mind. Yeah. I keep going to your name. Yep. Oh, there was only five also, cards left? Yep. Oh, Who wants it? Wow. Uh, Chad, do you want the eagle? or? Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Okay, cool. That you sucks. Can take it. Okay. That yeah, serves. a little bit. Yeah. Card number first one. Card. I said card number one. Where is it? There we go. Uh, two. There's no objectives. Uh, there's nothing. So it's going to surge. Surge. Okay. Cool. Card one. Card number one. Taking on water. Uh, no, yeah. It's your favorite. <laughs> or I can take it. it too. Yeah. It's... Go to the lunar lumbus. Lumb All right. It, it's it. just part. You're permanently taking. Well, okay. Yeah. Card number two is oh here's oh. the warship. There we go. No, go away. <laughs> now that would have been amazing. That was supposed to be hard. Oh, Why no. couldn't that be the other way? <laughs> oh, this I is did shuffle it. BS. <laughs> Boarding twelve. Good fun. <laughs> Eagle comes out well... first. <laughs> 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 Now remember, they do not engage you. You have to optionally Damn, engage them. We so just leave them. Quest over them. We can. We can well, quest for I, like. I have no, I have no doubt you quested successfully. Yeah, we did. It, so the location goes away. Clear that, and you put at least five progress on. Yeah. It, yeah. So, uh, do you want to travel to the coast of Anfalos or not? Uh, sure. Place two more progress on one of them. Okay. Not the one we travel to. Okay, well, exhaust the ship objective to travel to one of them. Yeah. Um, I, I can. I which got it. ship? I got it. Oh, very cool. Yeah, pick the first oh, yeah. one that we put okay. progress on. All right, uh, who wants what? What do you think, guys? Should we take one of them and let Aomer kill the light cruiser later or just quest over the silly I think thing? we leave them all out there. I can buy Lords of the Eldar every round and quest for 30 if I need to. So that keep fun? in mind here that uh, the one with the highest threat is going to go to stage 3B at the end of the round. Threat or engagement cost? Wait, threat. what? Yep. They're, these these are trying to chase after the other team. So whatever you leave out here is going to go to them, or at least one, oh. one of them. If you leave a couple up there, then only one of them will go. But the enemy with the high the enemy ship with the highest threat is going to go to uh, stage 3B at the end of the round. So that's a light cruiser, which is the one Aomer could kill. So that's unless you unless you take it yourself now. Yeah, the cruiser is the only one that Aomer can kill because the other two cannot take damage if they're in the stage area. That's the problem. Mm. If we but they're also it. boarding five. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other problem. I think we could take one of them, but if we take two of them, that's going to be twelve enemies total. It sounds a little yeah, bit. it's bad. Well, how many bad. enemies are in the Corsair deck? Good question. <laughs> 12. Yeah, that is a good question. 
in the Corsair uh, bit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it reshuffles once you get to the bottom. So. Yeah, but if, all yeah, of them. But if you pull them all out, then there's none left. Uh, many... 16. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, bring them all out. Let's see that. No, we don't want to do that. I kind of think we should just take one. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Maybe the light cruiser and a warship, but our ranged capability isn't strong enough to knock out that many. Yeah, it's not great. We have quite a bit of Sentinel at this point. But yeah, having yeah. six enemies on one player is kind of nuts. And Noldor and Dale already have one, so... Yeah, six is a lot to swallow. Yeah. I have a ship, so if I took another ship, I'd be going undefended on one of those ships or need help, so I'm not excited about taking seven enemies at once. Basically, so, the position I'd be in is I could defend everything, but then I couldn't kill everything. Right. And only have, we don't have any ranged eagles right now. Nope. I have one ranged character, and that's it. We have one ranged character on the board, so yeah. Then I think we don't take more than one. It's probably going to have to be me, isn't it? Uh, not necessarily. You have a lot of attack. And we have at least three Sentinel defenders that could be ready, so we could ready a lot. We could defend yeah. a lot, but if I take it and you guys do all the Sentinel defending, that's probably the best yeah. thing to do, because I can't uh, Sentinel defend much. I also have uh, Naria. Right. That's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's, yeah that's all right. right. Let's do that. Give me the warship. Corsair warship. Yeah. There you go. Are you oh, the warship. We could take the cruiser just to go for four. Instead of five. I think well, if we just leave the if we leave the war, the cruiser in there, Amor blows it up next turn. Right, that's what I was thinking. No, it's gonna leave. It's gonna go to the to the no the highest. A. No, 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 no. The it's the four, other right. warship will move. Over. Uh, I think you said the highest threat. And the oh, I thought it was highest threat. I thought you meant like engagement. Nope, highest threat. So oh. Like, oh. oh. Now keep in mind, you guys also have the option uh, on your stage to. Uh, because you got five progress, you can at the end of the round, uh, the first player can remove all progress from it to choose a ship enemy in the staging area of another team and engage it. So if you send one over there, you can call it back. Uh, but you or have a different to one engage back, it. But you have to engage it. Well, that's we can do that because we can both kill these seed ships and then either me or Dale or Noldor here can. Take one Maybe up. they made 50 progress and we don't need to do any of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the first player is going to be Chad at the end of the round. Correct. For engagement. All right. Warship or cruiser? What's your plan? I don't know. I'd vote cruiser. But that's. Okay, cruiser. But Chad's yeah, engaging us, so it's his choice. So we got archery eight. Yeah. Okay, cruiser. Gandalf got, will take uh, four of it. All right, here's first boarding. Yeah, because they have room. Oh, yeah, they almost got it. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. Card. Oh, first time we've seen this guy. He's got a random card in your hand. Two. Okay. Another one. Four. That's rough. Uh, and they also have uh, extra pretty ones much from, guaranteed <laughs> from the light yeah. cruiser itself. Yeah. Okay. Wow. One that's more. Eight direct damage. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, we have 
eight archery to deal with. I'll take four of it. I will also take four of it. Gandalf will just go away. Okay. So he's just a sponge. All right. Uh, shadow cards here. Let's see, first player here, so that's going to be. I can defend three of them. Okay. Between four and six defense. Four and five, I guess. Yep, I'll need it. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Hey. Dad, you need to play uh, Justice Shall Be Done next round. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Right. Wrong. You made some progress, eh? Yeah, a little bit. All right. I was going to say, you guys made 44. That's Here's defend for four, whichever guy you want. And defend for four again. Defend for five. <laughs> uh, okay, so what are these guys before us? So uh... Okay, that one. And I can ready him up with Kirdan if I need to. So okay. This guy attacks for... Uh, what is that? Five? Five attack from that one. Uh, Vicious Marauder here is attacking. Uh, no shadow effect. He attacks for three. We deal three damage among characters you control. So that's Chad. Okay, we'll defend this Vicious Marauder. Attacks for three. No shadow effect. Deal five damage among characters you control. Goodness. And who's defending this other Umbar Raider? I will. Nothing. Spare hood and cloak. Attacks for four. We've got five defense. Light cruisers is attacking for six. Uh, I can do it with my ship unless someone else wants to. Someone have a free ship? No, Lenya has five defense. I only have two. You, you have your own ships what? to worry oh, about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do it with my ship. Okay. Plus uh, one attack. Plus one attack, so attacks for seven. Okay. Okay, defending siege ship on the left here. Oh, there was two more archery, by the way, from uh, four, four more archery from the siege ships. So yeah, we'll take two more. Okay, I'll take two. Okay, undefended. Undefended. Uh, nothing. And this guy. Uh, my ship is going to defend it. Okay. Nothing. Five v five, no damage. Okay. Swing back. Um, yeah, Cure Dan. For... I can use Cure Dan to help you get more attacks here. All right. Let me see here. 12. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm. All right. Hold on. What'd you kill? I'm not. I'm trying to figure out the most efficient way to kill the ship. I can give you another four. Oh, really? Range. Yeah, with uh, with my ship. Okay, do that. Then uh, any of the north plus my misty mountains plus uh, yours kills the light cruiser. Okay. That and that is victory display. Victory displayed. Yep. All right. Yeah, because now the ships are victory displayed. All right, these two kill a vicious marauder. Okay. The vicious marauder. These three kill another vicious mar uh, marauder. Okay. And I'm tapped out unless Naria's going to ready something. Yeah, I don't know if I should spend that on myself to kill this ship or you yet. Kill ships. Uh, let's see. Al is going to attack ships, right? I have four range damage I can help with. Allies I... can attack ships. Yes, yes, um, But maybe it's best been elsewhere. I don't know. It depends on if someone lets me ready. Right. Do we have that? Do we remove the ship objective from play? Uh, victory, I did. Um, if I exhaust the Corsair Skirmisher, which will cause it to take damage because of taking on water, I can kill my ship and free up Kirdan to use 
Great. Uh, I, I think the math before. Do it. Five, six, so yeah. Eight, it's the last turn. Nine, ten, on, oh. Yep, that should work. So yeah. Kirdan is giving I hear you two dog. boosts. So you can ready up two allies right. and give them plus one attack. So why did the objective ship go to victor display? Uh, the objective did? No, I don't think the objective did. Where is it? I can't find it. Oh, it's stuck up behind my siege ship. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so then Eagles in this mountain can attack for six and kill the Umbar Raider. And then I have a four attack against the pirate. So if... And I have three. Okay, that kills that guy. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Okay, I need 12 to kill this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Uh, we'll just do, uh, yeah, 11, 12. Okay, victory display. Actually, I'll do this. You guys have the air line again now. So we have another hero ready now. And Joe, I killed the siege ship. Did you? Okay. Yeah. All right. You can ready bear before someone could draw cards. I already used her. Oh, that's oh. right. Right. All right. I think they were waiting for us. So we'll just take the five off and take the sea ship, the warship back, and I'm happy to engage it if that's legal. Or is it the first player that's? Uh, well, yeah, that would be that would be legal. Yep, that's fine. Okay. So let's do that, and we'll do boarding five. Woohoo! Super. Hold on, I gotta put them in the back of the same deck now. Right, well, while, you, characters in here. while you're doing that, I'm gonna play Justice Shall Be Done. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to wait before that until you get the uh, engagement stuff, because they're gonna do things for you. I can say you also can't actually play it until the start of the next round. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's a planning action. It's a planning just, action, Chad. I have one resource to give if someone takes it from me. All right. Umbar yeah. Raider, Umbar Captain, self run Sailor, Umbar Raider. I thought I was engaging it. Uh, first player, which is about to be Chad, isn't it? Oh, yep. correct. That's why I asked if it was legal for me to engage it. Uh, it has to be the first player. Oh, I thought you were using the Royal Wii. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. There's all the boarding. I, are they ready for us? I thought I'd solved that they were yeah. both done. Okay, we're yeah, done. they were waiting on us. So. Okay. So it kind of like they're going to with... quest out. Yeah, it's... I, I mean, there were six short, so I'm assuming they're questing out. Yeah, unless they get off course. Which, I don't yeah. know if there's a treachery that knocks you off course in this quest. Uh, well, and them knocking off course in at least for three B doesn't actually matter. Are you sure? Yeah, because I'm I'm looking at it right now. Because we're on three D. We're if we're off course, yeah. then command post that actually drops it. The 3B says you can't place progress unless you're on course. Hey, y'all are just too good. Good job. Good job. I was, I was boarding five. That was we fun. very nearly just won this round. <laughs> we had uh, progress, no problem. We had five cards in the encounter deck. Three of them were ships, so I shuffled in an Eagle of the North. And the first card we pulled was the Eagle of the North, so we didn't get to fly away any of the ships. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the ships were warships, and one of them was a light cruiser. It's like, oh my god. Seriously. I'm just a lucky. We could have put all Raiders in play all at once if we had board that gauge all three of them. All 14 of them. Uh, our, our stage had a uh, has a couple of uh, warships in the staging area. So one went to 3B, but then they used their progress to call it back and engage it. So okay. They joined Don't you guys cheat. briefly, and then we caught up to it. All right. Then, okay. guys. Anything else? I don't think so, bud. 
Okay, then there are no ships. And, there are no ships in staging area for us, so. All right, I think they quest out and win, so. I think so. Yeah. I assume so. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's only midnight there. That's when I start my games, usually. I know. Do you guys want cheaper allies? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. First ally is one cheaper, and they don't quest this round, but they're cheaper. It's mine are two cheaper. Mine's three. Oh, yeah. I don't have any allies, so. <laughs> I do. Uh, actually, I'm going to go. All right. So my first ally is going to be Gua here. And he's going to pull a Descendant of Thorndor, which will do two damage. Uh, Coaster Warship cannot take damage while it's in the staging area. I hate that ship. <laughs> you guys Same. It's, I could blow it up right now. I'll also play Gandalf and do uh, damage to it as well. You can damage the stuff in front of you. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah I have six enemies there. Uh, okay, kill a raider. I am done. Okay. I will heal the North Realm lookouts, two of them. Thank you. Okay, I'm done. Basically. Sailing test? Sailing test. For me. All right. One, I'll throw in the ship. two, three, four, five. Uh, I want to do one more. What do I want to do? Sure. Six. Six. Okay. Seems good. One, two, three, five. four. There it is. Five and six. There we go. Question? I have 19 and one progress on the coast of Amphalasna Station area, clearing it. Okay. Fourteen. Eleven. Uh, eight. Okay, here we go. Red one. Because Aimer can quest with attack this round, because why not? Raiders Assault, huh. ship enemies. Uh, is, there is an objective. So there is. the warship goes back up there. I can cancel it, but I don't think that's worth canceling. It is. That's not worth it. Well, if we have to go again, he's going to get five more enemies. <laughs> I'll cancel oh. it. <laughs> the re-engagement cost. That's right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on. There's another warship that's in the staging area. Why can't we just use the one that's in the staging area to guard it? Well, it says put one. Oh, you could turn it to the staging area. If uh, uh, well, you could pick which one. So if you pick this one, it would just would the card would search. Uh, oh, got it. I see that now. I don't think you can reveal you can accomplish the first part. So the jumping back to the staging area wouldn't happen, would? It? I don't think you have to jump back to the staging area unless you don't fulfill the first part. Seems like it would just do a nothing surge to me. I think they I think they just won over there. 
you guys want to finish this or should we go sell it? Yeah, go reveal the cards quick, quick. Okay, okay. So that was canceled. Still go ready for the next one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's a seed ship. There's a canceled. Cancel. Actually, and don't care about that one. I'll cancel canceled. that one. Canceled. canceled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. There we go. Moving on. Uh, then, do you guys want to finish fighting or do you want to go celebrate? Sure, zap them out. Okay, who's getting I'll take the ship. One? I'll take the sea ship, leave the stupid warship up there. <laughs> okay, that's going to be boring. Or if... Infiltrator. And a Southwind Sailor. It's not so bad. Nah. Nobody wants to take the other warship? Go figure out. No, no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Archery 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Only three shadow cards. Who wants the last four archery? I'll take it. Okay, let's do the def defense. I can help you, Chad, if you want. All right. Um, I'll defend my ship against the big ship. Okay, nothing. Right. Here's a five defender for that five attack guy. Okay. Okay. Uh, I could do a four defender if you want, Chad. Sure, I got Gandalf too. So, yeah. Okay, that one's defended. All right, descend to Thorin Deer against the Sailor. It's a shadow. I have a five defender if someone needs it. Nothing. Okay. Did this infiltrator get any uh, resources when engaged? I can defend it if you need it. I didn't have any. Yeah, well, he doesn't get any shadows anyways because you're out of them. So, uh, five defender defending this guy, I heard? Sure. Okay. Sure. Sea ship attacking, defending. Uh, anybody want to defend for me? Otherwise, we're undefended. Uh, Narlin, you can. Sure. Zero. Okay, I defend for five, three. Sentinel. Okay. Cool. Infiltrator, three. Derp. And two. Uh, undefended. Because <laughs> I can. Kirdan Narya. All right, go kill things. All right. I have these Warriors of Dale that can be ranged if we want to use. You can get two uses out of them if you want with Kirtan. All right. I have four ranged for ships. Chad first, right? Yeah, yeah I'm just figuring right. it out here. Um, all right, to attack the ship, I can go four. Whoops, I keep doing that. If I, oh my god, if I send four against the ship, I need nine more. Now I need five more. Because Gandalf, the eagle, and my ship should be able to kill it. This is it. I, I got it. Oh, you're using your ship? I mean, we can do that, or we can use it on the seed ship. Okay, I killed mine. I got my own ship. Okay. Okay. And then three, six... Uh, oh, you got to kill the captain first, but yeah, go right. after the captain. All right, captain's dead. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's it for you? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm basically done. I still have Radagast up, but he can't kill anything. Uh, Well, how about Kirdan Narya readies up Eagles of the Misty Mountains and something else of your choice? If you do the Warriors of Dale, if I use them range and you ready them, then I can use them at least two more times with... And yeah, spare hoods and cloaks. Let's do that. That Which might... works. Let's do that instead. Cool. I got two attacks. So this guy can. Something. It's fine. Whatever. Okay. I think we got it. And then, then if I declare this attack and then you Narya both of my archers, I can Done. one shot him. And then they're both ready at four attack. So this guy will one shot this guy. 
And this guy is at four. Him with Radagast can kill my raider. Five, six, he's dead. Yeah. And then Sparehood and Cloak, both of them again. <laughs> oh, right. I gotcha. Yep. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Plus four. Okay. Victory. Twenty-five. So you got one enemy left. Where? Oh, I could have killed him too. Well, yeah. Then... <laughs> I had 25. I didn't see him. So these guys will... <laughs> these guys can do that. All right. There you go. Got it. And the one in the staging area that you guys left alone. But... Yeah. He's fine. Okay. So we have everybody joining the same chat? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I assume so. Everybody else done? Well, hello, everyone. Hello. Just hello. Grant lowering his threat and drawing a card. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Left behind. He's still in the card talk stream. <laughs> there. Congratulations. Hey. hey we, win. we did it. Hooray, everybody. Hooray. Well done. You're you guys all crushed welcome. This. You are now all allowed Don't to only talk for five hours. <laughs> well, thanks for all the work you put into this, guys. This, this was, was neat. Really yeah, massive idea. thank you. Was really this cool. was fun. Was... Yeah. How long did you guys work on this? Because, like, it was great. Uh, two, three months? Since April. Yeah, it's been that long. All summer. Yeah. I, I was saying when we were in our own chat that where when you asked for volunteers to help, I initially I wanted to volunteer, but then I my second thought was actually I want to not so that I can just play it blind, <laughs> and that was great. Yeah, it was very good fun. I especially well, liked like part of it. Like yes, the quest is amazing, but part of it that I never expected or thought about was just getting to interact with people in the community who I'd never gotten to interact with before. That was really cool. So yeah, that is thank you for yeah. part of yeah. facilitating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's really cool. Well, you guys beat this on the easiest level. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 you mean that wasn't too easy? To rub it in. I'm, I'm just only slightly bitter, but um, yeah, this is this this quest is easier with four players, and uh, none of you took on the nightmare challenge I said at the beginning. So. You know, there's there's more work to be done later on. I can just hear the sound of salt pouring out of something. Oh, yeah. I don't. I know. It's like uh, a tinkling I, noise. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I was no, it was good. It was really good. You did. It was yeah. great. Yeah. It was oh, worth it staying up for. Yeah, I think for you guys, yeah, picking a scenario to oh, to adopt is really lends itself to do it. Mm -hmm. We highly, highly, highly recommend trying this with six people. And doing two on each stage, we had an utter blast testing it like that yeah. when we would do that. Geo well, we have the card art now, so yeah, we should make a module for this. Yeah. Or get I, we're going to work on that. We just we have the knowledge as of yet, so we're going to work it. on that. Yeah, no, I'd be up for giving it another go in Nightmare, definitely. Well, it was definitely a lot of fun. Ten past five in the morning in the UK. I think it's time for me to head off to bed because okay. I have work. <laughs> about eight hours. Job, yeah. Uh, also, you guys in the future, if you play with four players, so, don't do nightmare. You can switch to just two teams, and I think that should up the challenge a little bit uh, because it's not a third team to come in and help later on. Oh yeah, okay. that's right. But How often did you guys just... play through this to 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 properly get it tweaked? Oh man, we had what? I think four, three and a half full play tests that we could do. It's hard to do it when you're all distanced like we are. Yeah. Um, yeah. And all of those were with two players. So it was really hard to tell how this would expand to four players. And you guys are had fantastic decks and were able to just cruise through it. Um, 
We had we some good synergy, we certainly on our side. We, we only tested with the four uh, on uh, stage 2A and then played through like that. We tested with four players. Mm. Yeah, I mean, our team certainly never played together before. Like, myself and Pocket Wraith have played together in the past, but, you know, we've never played as a foursome to see how our decks sort of combined. We just sort of eyeballed it a bit and gave it our best shot. Mm -hmm. I think it worked out all right. <laughs> Um, well, my team had, I think we only had one game where we tested our decks against the standard, Storm and Cobra Saving, and they seemed to work fairly well, and then we just went in pretty much with the decks we created for that. <laughs> Again from this is that Wandering Took is the only one who can't beat this quest. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for calling you out there, dog. <laughs> Well, this is fun. really good, though. We we got to we got to observe, and and we have a couple more. We have a handful of major, big time quests that are definitely epic material. Uh, yeah, we that will. we have learned from this, and we will also make it a lot harder for all of you. No need. Go out like well, that. I look far. forward to that. <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah. And good night, guys. Good night, Grant. 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 Good night all. Everyone had a blast with Blind Dogledore. This was fun, Joe. <laughs> good hyped. That was good. Uh, should we spoil what we're thinking about doing next? Sure. Might no, never I have a right? feeling my Sylvans are gonna love it. <laughs> well, we've got we've got a couple on the table. Um, one, I'm not sure if we know exactly how to do it yet, but the idea was so cool that we have to think about it. Um, okay. I'll, I'll let Eric decide if he wants to share that one because that was his idea. But um, the one that I'm, I've got a pretty solid concept for working with is Helm's Deep. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that could go nasty. Yeah, yeah. I think even standard oh, yeah. Helm's Deep be is, uh, can be quite well, especially brutal. in full player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. We didn't want we didn't want to do a major quest first uh, until we could you know kind of see how it worked and and in trying to adapt. So we wanted to save the big ones like like a, like a Helm's Deep for later on after we got a chance to live test it like this. Yeah, cut your teeth on the high seas, so to speak. I think we learned a lot from this. Mm -hmm. A lot of changes we went through. Boarding two, not enough. We're gonna give the orcs and Helm's Deep boarding two. <laughs> 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 well, we I mean, the, the victory boats. condition on this. Originally, the victory condition was that you had to kill all of the ships in play, and the game was already so long that we're like, oh, can we can we really do that? It's just going to take forever in certain circumstances. And and the other the team that was trying to quest out didn't feel like it really mattered that much, and so we decided, eh, well, let's let's switch it around. So that's the one that matters, and just try to make it as hard as we can on them. It was pretty. It was pretty. Um, no, it wasn't. Sorry, we just we had way too much willpower by the end of it. I think is the is yeah. the problem there. We also could have killed all the ships if we had to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the board states. I think that's the problem with the back end of Lord of the Rings in general, though, is your board states are really established. So creating a legitimate challenge at the very end of the game can be like a nightmare. We tried. <laughs> Any player engaged yeah. with a ship enemy cannot it cannot commit to the quest. Yes. Yeah, that... The problem is you don't want to create a situation that's an automatic lose. Uh, I mean, yeah, that, yeah, that would have lost us full willpower from me. Yeah. <laughs> so we weren't essential at the end, but boarding two plus boarding two on every ship was a definite game change. yeah that's something about the quest that um made the like in fact it's just something in this quest that the fact that we could use cobus haven to reduce the boarding so frequently really yeah. sort of it, it would have been more difficult without that <laughs> yeah and, and we we tried Same to make sure, we tried to make sure we kept all of the encounter cards as they were yeah so that's if good. that's in the quest then that's in the quest and we you know how do we work around this to make this, this quest work for Epic, at the same time. 
Yeah. No, I love the way you did it as well. Like the different, because I was a bit confused with the stages one and two at the same time at the beginning, but I sort of I understand it now because it's like you only have the the two stage ones, and rather than having a third stage one, having people swap between the different ones and have it be complicated, it's just like okay, these people are just catching up to stage two. They'll get there and they'll help out, and it yeah, it works well. I design wise, I thought that was brilliant. It's oh, cool. it's a blast. It's a blast too. You play it with two player, and oh, you yeah. are treading water at best on yeah. stage two, and you you can just see yourself losing and slipping and slipping, and it's it's a real fun feeling to have as a player. I would recommend everybody who liked this try it at two player or maybe three player. I, we haven't we didn't get a chance to try it at three player, so we don't know how that goes. But it should be a little easier than two player, but uh, harder than this. But two player was just great. <laughs> Uh, so there's only a total of eight cards in this set. So if you ever want to print them off, we, we haven't found a place to actually place them yet other than in this Discord. But it should be pretty easy. Just print off the eight cards and you can play this in real life with real people yeah, when, nice. we, when we can do that again. They don't have to be shuffled in, so you could just print them on whatever stock. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and the rules because it's it's one of them in because you can get the um oh I don't even know what it's called but you, where you get like the first age cards printed and stuff you yeah. can order them from there. Um, a lot of those services won't do it anymore. Will they not? Even for custom content like this. Uh, anything that has any FFG assets. So this doesn't have any backs on any of these cards, so it's it's two sided. Oh, then you're probably okay. Right. Yeah, it's just the ring specifically that they don't print. Mm. Okay. I mean, I haven't got one of those sets, so <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but yeah. Yeah. I can see why they just don't want to get sued, so it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, kind of weird. Okay, gents. I think I'm going to go right. tonight. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, so. Uh, and as, these... as before, if anybody, if anybody wants to come and join, uh, development team for this uh we've got room and it's been a fun process uh, I, I think you dropped me a link to it earlier but i think it expired if you want to resend that one to me it will do I, i'm afraid i'm just i'm, I'm thinking like pocket wraith I'm, I'm a bit selfish i just kind of want to play <laughs> that is totally okay <laughs> it's just too good <laughs> I hope even you what play it again now that you've now that it's come out I mean, I'm I'm absolutely up for giving it a, a whirl in Nightmare, um, seeing how tough it is, because some of those Nightmare cards are pretty brutal. Yeah, they are. But okay, I mean, well, I, I realize it's five in the morning now, so if uh, yeah. people want to think about that, then yeah. <laughs> maybe not right now. We will chat tomorrow. Maybe not right now, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I see some of you guys on the stream and uh, the swag reveal thing tomorrow. It's going to be a fun oh, sorry. Uh, To Eastern? Yeah. Two Eastern for the custom quest I did, and then swag right after it. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah. So, no one's getting up early on. tomorrow to play uh, right away? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I probably will be. Yeah. I'll All right. Be I might be I'll be up later. posting for games. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yep. Well, thanks again, yep. Joe. Great job, everybody yeah, thanks. involved in this. Yeah, thank this you. Really good. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Good All right. Job. Pleasure to meet you all as well. Yes, absolutely. Awesome, yeah, bye. Bye. See ya. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. Catch you later. Oh, you better not die. He's like my favorite character so far. Two of this video. They were together. I'm sure that's an incredibly romantic thing to say.